Lynette Coma is here. Hello. I see the 20 people in here. Give a thumbs up on the way in if you have not done so. Happy Saturday. How is everybody doing today? Hi. <laughs> you call me Jamie. Okay. <laughs> Lynn Lang. Hello. Good evening. Beautiful. How are you today? I'm doing fine. All right, Florine and Roslyn. Lynette is laughing at me. <laughs> it's okay. You know, you can call me Jeannie. There's people that call me all kind of stuff, and I'm okay with it. <laughs> you can call me Jeannie. <laughs> Uh, Maddie, how are you? Hello. Welcome every single person. Hi, Sonia. How are you? Hey, Brandy. You're glad to be here. I'm glad you're here. Amy, hello. KJ, hello. Veronica, Janie, and Ivan. Hello, Ivan. Kim, hi, Kim. How are you? D-Rock is here. Uh, Tanya J is here. V. Smith. Hi, Miriam, Audrey, Latricia, Florine, and Debbie Parker is back. How are you? Welcome, everybody, to Jeannie Young's Live. It's Saturday, and we are going to have so much stinking fun. Yes, we are. Kay Coffee is back. Hello. Watching you from Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay, okay. Hello, everyone. Catherine's back. How are you? Listen. If by chance I happen to skip by your name, you know, or I don't get to like respond to your comment during this live, just please uh, understand and be with me and understand that I'm only one person and, I, and, and it's kind of hard to read every single comment, okay? So if I miss your name, if I miss your comment, maybe you can uh, comment back, okay? Comment back and hope and hopes that I see your message, okay? Tea time. Hello, Joyce is here. Hello. Tommy Painter is here. He says, how are you this evening, Gina? I see you got a few things on your page there that I'm thinking about ordering some stuff from the new things that you got. Okay, Tommy, this is awesome. Today is the last day to do it with the code. Listen, listen, Tommy. I just got a reminder. Uh, today is the last day to um, order with the code. You know, you want to if you want to order and you want to use that promo code, then you can get twelve dollars off. So, if you do it after tomorrow, you know, after today, that promo code is not still available. Okay, so do it today. <laughs> All right, we got some new stuff on the merch. It's really really exciting. Hello, Patricia. Sweet Liz is here. Hey there, Gina. Watching from Southern Illinois. Okay. All right, great, Ty is back, Miss B is back. Okay, listen everyone, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Okay, um, listen, we are going to have <clears throat> so much fun today. It's Saturday and I figured, excuse me, with today being Saturday, we wanna make something and it's full time. I felt like I wanted to make something nice and hearty Something that's going to stick to your bones that we can eat for a couple of days. And something that the whole family is going to love. Like, honestly, the kids love this. The adults, your grandma, your grandpa, Uncle Bobo, everybody's going to love this here recipe. So now what I decided to do. Okay, okay, so Tommy is saying, all right, thanks, Gina. I really appreciate it. And also, I do totally enjoy watching your cooking. And I have learned a lot. You helped me so much. Tommy, I'm here for you. I am so here for you. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> and, and to each and every one of you, thank you all who have subscribed, everyone that's been with me, you know, old subscribers and new subscribers. I appreciate you all. And like I just told Tommy, I'm here for you guys. When it comes to recipes and a good fun time on Thursday and Saturday, Gina Young is here for you all. Even if you don't want to cook with me, you can just come to the live chat and we can just chat all evening, you know? Like, um, I'm going to promise you good, clean fun at Gina Young's always. And always a good recipe with God on our side. <laughs> You'll be watching but not cooking. And that's Lottie. Hi, Lottie. Oh, that's fine. That's just fine. Christopher Williams is back. Hello. So today, Saj, how are you? Hello. Okay, so today we're going to be making great northern beans. 
Oh, thank you, Sarah Kay. Thank you. Yes, great northern beans. We're making some uh, cornbread. And then we're also going to have some rice on the side. I feel like when you have beans, any kind of beans, you must have like some type of rice to put underneath it. So that's the plans for today. Now, normally, let's talk about normally. And then we'll get started here in a little bit. But I do want to give a few people some time to come in, get their ingredients together, use the restroom, do all the fun stuff that they need to do before we get started, okay? I don't want to get started without, you know, I don't want to get started and everybody's not ready, okay? You never heard of the recipe, okay? So now, usually when I'm making a big old pot of beans, I like to use the dried beans. But you guys told me the last time we spoke in a live, I said, how can I do the beans if the beans are going to take me four hours to cook, you know? And somebody came up with the bright idea. They said, get the beans in the can. And I said, whoop, that's it. Going to use the beans in the can. So you can use the beans in the can or the beans in a jar, and they're not going to take us forever in a day. All that's going to take us a nice amount of time is the smoked meats that we're going to cook. And I'm going to show you a, a really stinking easy way to do it. I'm going to show you how to pack in some amazing flavor into this recipe. And these beans right here, you're going to want to take them to, to work uh, next week, all week. You're going to want to take it to work for your lunch. Do you make cornbread also? Absolutely, I do. Um, to, I make homemade cornbread, but today, since we're doing a live and we're cooking other things, I figured we could just throw together some jiffy. Or I also said in the community tab that you all could go out and purchase, you know, Jiffy or some pre-made um, cornbread, okay? I just, there's Rob, uh, uh, Raymond, hello. Uh, what I was going to say, let me, let me see what she's saying. Let's see what she's saying here. Lynette is saying, Gina needs you to press the like. Yeah, Gina does. Gina needs you all to press the like button. I can see everyone that's in here, and I see who's pressed the like button, but there's uh, quite a few of people that has not pressed the thumbs up. Now, when you're pressing the thumbs up, you may need to back out. You do need to back out of the live, give a thumbs up, and then come back into the live, okay? There's Raymond, how are you? Lady Shaws, how are you? We're gonna have a great time today. We'll give it about Eh, say about seven minutes and we're going to get started, okay? Welcome, Alan. How are you? Lady Porsche TV, hello. <laughs> Fun times ahead of us today. What's the weather like where you all are at? Do you guys have amazing weather or is it really cold? Hello, Glow, and my Holy King is back. Hello. Oh, it's okay, Ty. It's okay. Sweet brown sugar is here. Yes, they do. He says the beans take forever to make, especially the red beans. You are absolutely right. And so that's why we decided to get, let me show you. We decided to get these kind. And you might be able to see <clears throat> that they say, let me see, I can't read it. Fully cooked and ready to eat. Okay. So they are, just as they say, they're fully cooked and they're ready to eat, but we're still gonna cook them down. You know, we're gonna cook them, we're gonna uh, mix them in with that beautiful flavor that we're gonna extract from the smoked meats. And listen here, one good recipe is this right here, and it's easy. And like I said, don't worry if you didn't get that jar right there, because you can use the cans of beans. And really, honestly, any kind of bean will serve for the same recipe. Even if you wanted to switch up the beans to like um, a black IP, a pinto bean, a 15 bean mix, whatever, the same recipe that I'm gonna show you guys today will work for all of them, even your lima beans, okay? Amazing weather, you said it's 85 there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Thomas is saying 55 degrees there. Hello, Carol, how are you? Tracy Stone says, I think she said it's hot. Beautiful day in New York, okay. It's hot in Florida, okay. Woo-wee! You said, I never seen those beans. Where did you buy those? My fiance, my fiance loves great northern beans. I'll tell you where I got them. 
you, uh, well, let's talk about where you can purchase them. I know you can purchase them at Walmart. Although, I did not go uh, to Walmart to get them. I got them from Kroger's, but Walmart sells them. If you just take your time when you're going into the supermarket and you look in the bean section, in the bean section, you're going to see all kinds of cans of beans. And normally on that bottom shelf, you see the big cans of pinto beans, the big cans of great northern beans. Absolutely. And like I said, when I can't find these, I get the cans. And I may need six to eight cans, you know what I mean, to make a big pot. But hey, that's fine. It's 84 in Georgia. Okay, Pam Scott, hello, how are you? 77 in Richmond, okay. All right, Renee P is back, how are you? I'm going to make ham beans, oh, ham and beans, okay. Patricia Rayleigh, how are you? You said, I just made pinto and fried tater, sweet cornbread, and had green onions. It was about 80 there in Southern Kentucky. Oh my goodness. Show it again, show it again, Gina, the jar of the beans, okay? <laughs> see, see, we need this time before we get started, right? <laughs> All right, what you got there? What, what are you doing with that? Yes. Huh? Okay. Here you go. Look at that. And we keep, like, these here in our pantry. Can you go get the pinto beans real quick in my pantry? Do not drop it, Dakota. Go get it. The big bean in the pantry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's at the bottom. But, yeah. Is it butter beans? Nope, it's great northern beans. It's different from butter beans. It's different from lima beans. It's its own beans. <laughs> it's a great northern bean. And I, me personally, I love the color. I love the texture. I love the taste. You hear me? This is something that we keep in our pantry. And normally, well, most of the time, it has a really great shelf life. So you can store these up in the pantry for a later, later day, you know what I mean? Throw these babies in a pot with some bacon and some butter, a couple seasonings, and guess what? Dinner is done, basically after it heats up. You know, if you put some onion and bell pepper in it, you wanna cook the onion and bell pepper, but like I said, this right here is a meal for you, especially with inflation and all, all kinds of stuff that's going on, prices, go no, it's in a jar like that, Dakota, when you first go in on that uh, rack in the pantry. Yeah, Diana said, yes it is. <laughs> okay, I know I got some crazy lighting going on. I think I fixed it. They do, you said they remind you of navy beans. Okay, okay. Give a thumbs up, give a thumbs up, give a thumbs up. Southern cooking today, yes we are. Derek Eads is back, hello. Oh, I missed you too. All right, great. Okay, so here is the same thing. Look at there. Pinto beans. So many people, and this has been in my pantry for quite some time. Um, so many people. There are lots and lots and lots. You can put this back and do not let it break, Dakota. I can't stress it and don't shake it. Don't open it or shake it. Um, so, uh, Dakota, I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, Lord, I don't know what I was going to say. Dakota them threw me off. <laughs> Mildred, how are you? Just got on. What are we cooking? We are cooking great northern beans. Oh, oh, what was I going to say? Ah, it'll come to me. My dad always used to tell me, if you can't remember, it must not have been that important. It had to be something. To, put, put this over there. Put the computer over there. You trying to do one thing and I'm doing this. Let me see. Put this over there with the chat coming through. I hope you feel better, Derek. Oh my goodness, if Derek is not feeling well, we pray in the name of Jesus that he begins to feel better. We pray that he is blessed from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. Lord, please heal him. By the stripes on your back, he will be healed in Jesus Christ's name. I don't know if he's sick, but I thought someone said, I hope he's feeling better. So that prayer is for Derek. Uh-oh, Gina, you are my human cookbook. 
<laughs> Your meals never fail. Okay, that's great. Thank you, Courtney Reed. And Debbie says, amen to that. <laughs> yes, love pinto beans. What? I feel like there was something I was getting ready to say. It'll come to me. Are y'all ready to get started? Are you ready to get started? How many of you are ready to get started? Oh, she said, Alan says, we make ham beans in a crock pot. Let it cook all day. Oh, yes. Oh, you're going to take a nap. You might be back afterwards. Okay, you're more than welcome to leave and come back, okay? But we're praying for you, Derek, that you start to feel much better with God on your side. You said something about a lot of people. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. Okay, listen. How many of you all are going to be cooking with me? Or you know someone that's going to be cooking with me live today? Okay, Mildred says, I'm excited to cook. Okay, great. If you're cooking with Gina Young today, give me red hearts in the comment section. So I have an idea of who's going to be cooking. Mildred is definitely one. K, JK says, a lot of people ask, <laughs> quit doing that to me. I don't know what I was going to say, but it'll come to me. It may come to me. It'll, it may come back. Sonia's cooking. Okay, this is great. She said, Gina, something about the pinto beans. <laughs> there's, it's funny because there's so much I want to say about beans. It really is. So I don't know what I was going to say. Patricia is cooking with me. Okay, she says hello. And, and Derek says, but I wanted to come in and say hi before my nap. I might be back afterwards. Okay, Derek. All right, we're praying for you. Okay, so we got Valencia. Pray for me and my pain in my hip. I, have a, uh, I will have a surgery done on them. Keep me in your prayers. God bless you all. This is Lynn Lang. Lynn, we're going to pray for you right now. And I see D-Rock is cooking with me. Okay, this is great. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you put your hands on Lynn Lang. She has some pain. She has some dis discomfort. And we pray that you bless over her. We pray that you bless over her body, her bones, her organs. Bless over her whole life in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, you told us that by the stripes on your back, we shall be healed. And we trust you that Lynn Lang, let me make sure that's the right name. We trust you, Lord, that she will be healed. We know that God is on her side, and we thank you for hearing and answering this prayer. Please protect her during her surgery. May she have a beautiful, successful surgery and, and a quick healing, and then she can get back to normal life with God on her side. In the name of Jesus, we pray. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wash your hands if you need to wash your hands. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get our aprons on. We're going to get started. One of the first things that we're going to do when we get started, flip this camera around, is you want to take out your onion and your bell peppers and your garlic. And that's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut some veggies down, okay? Gina, I love your show, says Nadine. Nadine Hamilton, thank you. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. I'm so glad you're loving the show. I am so glad before we, anytime we go live, I always pray that you all enjoy it. I pray that you all are enjoying the live. Like this channel is for you guys. This channel is for you all to show you all how to cook easy, simple, delicious recipes. Gina Young style. And also to show you how to be stress-free in the kitchen. Because I totally understand that cooking sometimes can be stressful but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try my hardest to show you it doesn't has to be as stressful you know if you do a Gina Young style you know always cleaning up as we go you know that helps a bunch get my apron on here you need to put the uh, thing where I usually have it where I can see it over by the thing okay let's get this apron on Heidi is back. Hello, Heidi. Welcome back. All the new subscribers, welcome. All of the old subscribers. Where's the other puppy at? Okay, I see him. He's under the table. Heidi says, hello, Sonia. How are you? 
All right, I got a puppy. I got a puppy scratching me on my leg. All right, let's flip this camera around. Let's get started, Jeannie Young style. Oh, you said the pumpkin pancakes turned out delicious. Great, and you know what? It's, it wasn't hard, right? The pumpkin pancakes weren't hard at all. Here, listen, I want you all to, I want you all to listen to this. If at any time, I'm getting ready to put the uh, microphone on, okay? If at any time the uh, lighting goes out, uh, feel free to let me know and we'll fix it. I'm going to fix the, uh, put the microphones on right now. So you'll lose sound for just about, just a couple seconds and then the sound will come right back. Microphones attached. Can you all hear me? Where did you buy those beans? I bought the beans at Kroger's, but you can buy them in Walmart. And normally, they're on the bottom shelf. The bottom shelf where all of the beans will be located. The beans that come in the can, uh, you know, uh, whether that's black beans, pen, uh, pinto beans, pork and beans, always at the bottom shelf, you'll find these huge um, jars of beans that are cooked, fully cooked and ready to eat. All right, let me get my microphone on. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, great. <laughs> Diane, D or Dina, or is your name Dina, Deanne, or Dina? She says, uh, yes, with the cornbread, all right. Hello, hello. All right. Moving in the right direction. Let's do this, everybody. Gina Young style. You sound great, Gina. Thank you, Sonia. Deanna. Okay, thank you, Deanna. Or, okay. He says sausages in the beans. No sausages in the beans, but I tell you what, you can definitely put sausage in your beans and it would turn out immaculate. Like so delicious, really it would. I feel like we need a little bit lighting here. We usually have this lighting on. Can you turn the lighting on and make sure everything's in the camera, please? Okay, everyone, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the ingredients. We're gonna go over the ingredients. Let's talk about it. So now, what I have here is I have my jars of beans. You may have the cans of beans. And like I said, it, it's really about knowing how many people you want to feed. You know, if you're feeding um, just two people, you might only need just one jar or maybe four cans of beans. Like, you, you, you'll know how many beans feed your family. Especially if you want to eat it all week, then get a little bit more beans. Okay, so what we're going to be using today, if you feel me doing like this, I'm just moving my microphone, okay? All right, so right here, we have some chicken broth. We're also going to be using water, okay? We have Jiffy corn mix, cornbread mix that we're going to make up some cornbread. And of course, you know we'll need the ingredients for those, okay? We will be making some white rice on the side because here at the Young's house, we can't have a big old pot of beans without rice. We do have some chicken powder and I'll talk about the chicken powder a little later because so many of you ask what is chicken powder? I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you. Chicken powder. We got a pinch or two of sugar and I know right now somebody says sugar for the bean? She said she's putting sugar in the beans. I, I know you're doing it. I know who you are. Well listen, it's just going to be a pinch and it's not going to be so much to where it alters the flavor 
or makes it sweet at all. Like, listen, you, you just have to trust me on this, okay? It just gives them that umami factor, make them say umami. <laughs> what was in them beans, okay? That's just that little special secret that we're putting in there. Of course, salt and pepper. You know we got to have that. And then we got to have um, onion and garlic powder. Okay, so that's our beautiful spices. We do have some, since my garlic cloves are so teeny tiny, like they're tiny, I'm using two. But if you got one nice size garlic clove, that's all you need, okay? We're not trying to overwhelm it with garlic, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside so we can get started with our veggies. If you have not washed, I'm glad I didn't drop it. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't drop it. Stop now, Gina, for you do. <laughs> um, get the veggies out. Give them a nice rinse, okay? And then pat them dry with a paper towel. So I had, listen, I got my onion in the refrigerator in hopes that when I pull that baby out, I'm going to chop it up real quick because I don't want it to make me cry. I have seen that keeping the onion nice and cold or throw it in the freezer for a few minutes before we slice helps me a little bit with the tears. So we'll cut the onion last. We're going to chop up our bell pepper, peppers and chop up this garlic, okay? Now, for my pot of beans, all depending on how much you're making, and then I'll, I'll step in and look at some messages here in a second. Um, for my pot of beans, I'm using a wok, okay? I always love to use it. Like if I'm making spaghetti sauce, chili, something that's a lot, you know, or saucy, I always use this. You can use a deep pan if you have like a deep pan that it comes up about this high on the edges. That's fine as well, okay? So I want to get my hands nice and clean. We're going to get started chopping up some garlic, some bell peppers, and the onions next. If you want to go ahead, get started chopping up yours without me, that's just fine, okay? So let's do it together. After I wash my hands, I'm going to come right back to this computer and see how everybody's doing. Now, I do have, let, let's show you the meat too. I'm going to show you the meat. So, remember in the community tab, I said you're going to need some smoked turkey. Now, originally, I wanted to just make the beans using just smoked turkey because it's so stinking healthy, right? And it's delicious and it puts off amazing flavor. You hear me? Like that smoked meat flavor going into these beans. Listen here, can't nobody tell you nothing, right? Okay, it's so true. But since I happen to have a, a ham hock that I wanted to use, I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there too, okay? Just because I want to use it, okay? But normally, I'll just use the smoked turkey meat by itself or either ham hock by itself or either ham pieces by itself or mix it all in, okay? Whatever type of meat that you have. And also, like Raymond says, he, he made a really great comment. He said, are we putting smoked sausage in the beans? No, but you can, okay? And, and seriously, it's delicious. You know those, that smoke um, poly sausage that I like to use all the time? Use that. Use some unduly sausage. Chop it up and put it in there. Delicious. Let me wash my hands. I've said it about four times. Now I'm really going to wash my hands. All right. Get these hands impeccably clean. Okay, who drinking with me while we watch? Okay, that's Ty. Ty says, is anybody drinking while they watch? <laughs> Okay, so Christopher says, me too, Sonia. A meal is not a meal without smoked meat. Now, growing up, I just have to tell you, growing up, uh, when I was younger, um, I want to cover my meat up. Hold, hold on, guys. Because you know how sometimes those little teeny tiny mats can, like, mysteriously make it into your house? <laughs> I want to cover my meat up just to make sure that they don't go anywhere near it. All right, just in case there is a gnat flying around here, we're going to cover this meat up, okay, until I'm ready to use it. Okay, so I'm just using a little foil. You see me. 
I'm going to set it there until I'm ready to use it. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and chop up. Well, let me see how everybody's doing first. So anybody have any questions before we get started? Uh, uh, sweet, sweet Liz says, I know, I hate those little gnats. I'm like, where do they come from? Like, where do they come from and how do they get in? <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> Good afternoon, Helen. How are you? And happy birthday to Mr. Young. I'll definitely tell him. Thank you. Any questions, anybody? Hey, Gina, chat just tuning in. Lord, I thank you, my friend, uh, recovering at the hospital from a car accident. He's still in a little pain, but he's going to be all right. All right, praise God. I remember you. I think you told us about your friend. That is awesome. God is a good God. I put regular old hot dogs in my red northern beans. Okay, okay. The red bell pepper is massive, yes. Okay, let's do it. I don't see any questions. So now, I'm going to use the side of my knife, okay? And I'm going to bang it, just like so. And when you bang it, look what it does. It helps to pull that skin right off. If you don't knock it with the side of your knife, you're going to be peeling for days trying to get that skin off. Okay, knock it a little, the skin comes off, okay? Now, I want to talk about something really quickly. There are people that love to use the garlic in the jar. And it's okay if you use that. But I do have to step in real quick and say, the, gar the fresh garlic, if you ever try it versus the kind in the jar, you'll never turn back. But if you just, you know, you, you might be that person that doesn't want to uh, deal with the hassle of chopping the garlic, then I totally understand. But, or, you can find the garlic sometimes in the produce section that comes already peeled and it's just in a bag and you need to chop it down. So you might be that person there where you want to buy the already peeled garlic, okay? So now that I've taken the skin off, I'm going to whack it again, okay? And what does that do? Well, it's going to help me chop it up a little bit, okay? So now it looks like it's kind of chopped up, okay? So now we're going to run our knife through it several times to really chop it down. You don't want real big, huge pieces of garlic in, in anything, you know? So we chop it up, and this right here, it's really just gonna kinda disintegrate down into Flavorland, you hear me? Like, you know what Flavorland is, right? It's gonna disintegrate, it's gonna put off some amazing flavor. So listen, the first thing, oh, she says, I love both of them. She said the fresh and the minced garlic, oh yeah. Okay, listen, so, She's, Golden Girl said, get it, girl. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do right now, I'm going to show you all how to extract flavor and put it into a broth. And then we'll put our beans into this broth that is so flavorful. You hear me? Okay, so now, this process that we're getting ready to do right now, and we're getting ready to extract this, extract this beautiful flavor, from the smoked meats, I do this before making greens. Before you put your greens, I know we're talking about something different though, but before you cook your greens, you have to make a beautiful broth, you have to extract that meat from the smoked meat and the veggies. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do right now. So you take your garlic that you chopped up, or your minced garlic, whichever you love, okay? Let's put it right into our pan here. Nothing else is in the pan right now, but that garlic is, okay? This is how I'm going to show you how to build flavor on top of flavor on top of flavor, okay? So we got nothing but garlic in there, okay? And now, let's chop up our green bell peppers. If you just have one color pepper, it's okay, I promise you, because I just have to be honest with you. The different color pepper is just because I'm on TV and I want it to look nice, you know what I mean? Because if I was just here with my family, I'd just use a green bell pepper, you know, just to be honest. But, you know, when you want it to look gorgeous for TV, then you grab, why not grab a red one too to put in a little bit color, you know? But believe it or not, a lot of people don't know this, each different color bell pepper lets off different flavors. Yes, they all have different flavors. They're different colors, and they taste different. So 
that, that could be another reason why you may want to use different color bell peppers. So you see how I'm cutting my pepper up. Not too big, yet it's not too small. You don't need to mince it. Now what we're gonna actually do is we're cutting a whole bell pepper. Yes, we are. Now, if you're not cooking a, uh, a big old pot like I am, then you just use a half of a bell pepper, okay? And a half of an onion, okay? So now half of my bell peppers are gonna go into this pot, and then the other half will go in later. Well, Gina, how come you're doing that? Why is she doing that? <laughs> I know you're saying it right now. Well, because the first, what do I, what I do I want to say dose? The first dose of um, bell peppers and onions that's going in now is really, like I said, they're just going to disintegrate and they're going to put some flavor into this broth that's going to pretty much be unbelievable, right? Okay? So now, you got the rest of the bell peppers and onions left over. What are you going to do with that and when are you going to put it in? Well, we're going to put it in later during the cooking process because those bell peppers and onions are not going to, we're going to cook, we're not going to cook it so long to where it disintegrates, okay? And, and, and I'll show you, it's going to, the other half that we put in later, it's going to still have some texture and some gorgeous color. Like I said, I can't help but to repeat myself, but this is just going to kind of disappear into the flavor, okay? All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the red bell pepper just like so, and I'm going to show you how much I'm going to put in now, and then, like I said, I'll show you how much we'll put in later. So what I'll do after I cut the bell pepper, I'll ask you all, are you ready to cut the onion up together, and then we'll move on. How you all doing? I can look at a couple messages while I'm cutting up the bell peppers. Thumbs up the live if you have not done so. Give Gina Young a thumbs up. You may need to back out to give a thumbs up and then come right back in. How you doing? Hank says, I love your shows, Gina. Well, thank you, Hank, and welcome to Gina Young's Live. Everybody, welcome, Hank. You look like a new subscriber. Um, we're just cooking some great northern beans, and we're just now getting started. Oh, okay. Austin says, Gina, I'm making Sunday greens. Okay, this is awesome. <laughs> Are you feeling better, Gina? I am feeling so much better with God on my side, and I'm so grateful and thankful. I was really not feeling well, you know. I'm excited because I think that my five weeks is up. If not, it's almost up and time for me to go, you know, back to the doctor so that I can get my... Uh, blood work done so I can see how my iron levels are in hopes that my iron levels have went up. But honestly, I'm feeling great. I still have that lingering cough that's kind of irritating, you know. You kind of try to hide it when you cough, but you can't really help it. But I I'm feeling great. Thank you for asking. Stop what you're doing, says Christopher Williams. He says, stop what you're doing right now. Give a thumbs up, folks. <laughs> What about smoked tails? Absolutely you can. Absolutely you can. It would be great. Any smoked meats, any smoked sausages. Hey, you could use ham pieces if you want. Okay? So now that we have the bell peppers cut up, I'm going to see. Does anybody need me to slow down and are, are you guys okay? Oh, I'm going to grab um, a bowl here. I'm going to put half of my peppers in here because this goes in later. It's just a little bit. We'll put it in later. But this right here is going in right now. I'm looking at the comments. Uh-oh, Ty says, Gina, you're moving fast. Okay, I'll slow down. Thank you for telling me. Thank you, my holy king. He says, hit the like button. You don't need a debit card. He says it's free. It's free to hit the like button. It's also free to uh, subscribe. <laughs> All right, bell peppers is going in right on top of that garlic. We have nothing else in the pan but bell peppers and garlic. Oh, you said I'm slow. Okay, it's okay. I'm going to wait on you, though. I don't mind waiting on you, Ty. No problem. Okay, Ty says give me time. Okay, I will. 
<laughs> Tandria. <laughs> Hello, Gina Young, says Keisha Matthews. How are you, Keisha? Welcome to Gina Young's Live. Okay, so, so far, all that we've done, we've only did three things. As we have put garlic into our pan, we've put half of the bell peppers that we chopped into our empty pan, okay? Now, I am going to grab my onion out. <clears throat> I'm gonna start chopping up my onion Okay, and then uh, we'll wait for everybody to see how everybody's doing so we can all move cohesively together. Okay, Lolita says, sorry, Gina, I just got here. Proceed, I'll catch up. Okay. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> Ty is laughing. <laughs> all right, I'm just grabbing my onion. I'm not going too far. I, like I said, I want to keep that onion in the refrigerator as long as I can because I do not want to go off crying. Andrea Saunders says, hello, everyone. <laughs> okay, let's go. Sorry, Gina. No, 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 no. You never have to say sorry. You are just fine. Because I totally understand and I believe that I was moving fast. You know, so it's okay to tell me, Gina, hey, slow down, girl. You're moving too. It's okay. It's okay. I totally understand, okay? Eula says, tell Dakota, hello. Hey, Eula. Uh, Dakota says, hello. I'm just, <clears throat> I'm just drinking a, a can of pop here. Mm -hmm. Last time I was drinking something on the live, you all were listening to my gulps as I gulped the drink down, and I thought that was so crazy. We got a good laugh off of that. <laughs> and then I said, okay, I need to take the microphone off when I go to the restroom. <laughs> I said, I'm taking the microphone off. <clears throat> Y'all remember that. Y'all remember. <laughs> All right, Gina, when you cut your bell peppers, no seeds. When I cut mine, I have seeds. Okay, so it's actually the way that I cut the bell pepper. Um, let me show you something real quick. <clears throat> Let's see. If I have another bell pepper, I'll be able to show you. But if not, I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't have one. I don't have one, but what I did was, the, the seeds are in the middle. Let's act like this is the bell pepper, okay? The seeds are in the middle, like it's not on the outside. So what I did was I cut the bell pepper like this, whoop, right? I turned it and I said whoop, I turned it and I said whoop, and whoop, and then I cut the bottom. So the part that I threw away was nothing but the seeds. So I will show you all in a tutorial how that works. But if you cut the sides just like so, you know, just like that, cut the end, you pull off the seeds and you toss it. But I'll show you guys, okay? That was a great question or a great comment. I'm putting my four look I'm putting my four look in these beans on God. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's cut some onion. All right. Now, on the onion, I'm leaving anybody behind on this onion. <laughs> because this onion will make me cry, Lord. Y'all know me and the onions. It's just like, oh, my goodness. Like, I love onions. You know, really, I do. But the onions don't love my eyeballs. <laughs> you know, because I'll go off crying. I'll have to say, guys, I'll be back then I need to nurture my eyes for a few minutes, you know. <laughs> All right. So now, chop your onion down no special way. You can slice it, you can dice it, just get it chopped up, okay? Half of the onion will be used <clears throat> to go in now. The other half will go in later with the other bell peppers and onions, okay? Okay. 
Now, when I'm done, I'm going to wait on y'all, okay? I'm not going to move ahead of you. All right, so I'm just putting these onions in with the little bell peppers, in the bell peppers that we're going to use later. And I'm going to scoot this far away from me so, so the cameraman's eyes can water instead of mine. <laughs> Quick chop up the onion, the bell pepper is really going to make some great flavor, okay? So now, in your pan, whoo, my eyes are starting, oh Lord. Okay, in this pan, all you should have is fresh garlic chopped up, bell peppers and onions chopped up, and you should have a little bowl of onions and bell peppers that you haven't used yet. That's what we have. Okay, you hear me? So now, let's wash my hands. I'm going to wipe this down to stop the onions. My cameraman is fanning his eyes because his eyes are watering. <laughs> He's laughing. I don't laugh when my eyes water. <laughs> I cry. <laughs> I cry when those things start burning my eyes. All right, my hands are nice and clean. Cutting board is wiped down. Onions burn your eyes because it's attracted to the moisture in your eyeballs. <laughs> they are closest thing that's moist. Use a wet paper towel, y'all. Just put it next to the onion. Your eyes will never burn. Okay, moon child, I'm, I'm going to test you on that, okay? Ty says, this is fun. Ty, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're cooking with me, okay? <laughs> okay, let's see. Thanks, Sonia. Just wanted to know what wines she enjoy. Let's see. Drew Moss says, thanks, Sonia. Just wanted to know what wines she enjoy with her wonderful meals. Okay, let's see. I'm going to try that next time. Hi, Gina. I'm not able to join you today on the way back from Apple Orchard in the mountains. All right, hello, Gina, just tuned in, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Garlic, bell peppers, onions, okay? Now, next thing we're gonna do is I want you all to grab your meat, whether it's bacon, whether it's smoked turkey, smoked ham hocks, or if you wanna use them all. You're gonna get them out and rinse them off. I've rinsed mine off already, okay? And I wanna show you how to score the meat with a knife. When you score the meat, if it's a ham hock, a ham bone, or smoked turkey tail, or smoked turkey wing, or smoked turkey leg, you're going to score the meat with a sharp knife, and what that does is it helps it cook faster, and it helps it kind of fall apart real quick in the, in the pot. Okay, I'm going to show you how right now. Let me grab it out the refrigerator. Oh, I put it behind me. Put it behind me. Okay. So now, in my case, let me move this. <clears throat> All right, so what I have here is a smoked turkey wing that has been washed off. And I just used some hot salt water, give it a nice rinse. Okay, I'm going to take the sharp knife and we're just going to kind of cut it as we, like if we were trying to cut it, but, we, but not really. Just trying to put some score marks into it so it cooks fast and it falls apart in your pan. Doesn't matter how you cut it. Doesn't matter where you cut it, okay? If you feel like you're cutting a bone, don't freak out about it. It's okay. Let's get you some little cuts all over it, okay? There's no wrong way you can do it. All right? Not trying to cut it in half. Just trying to put some score marks onto it, okay? How simple is that? You bet it's simple, okay? All right, same thing for my ham hock because I figured I wanna go ahead and use it and I love ham hocks, okay? But like I said, please don't, don't, don't uh, worry if you're not using ham hocks. There's a lot of people that don't eat pork products and that's totally okay. Then you're gonna be the one that's just gonna use the smoked turkey alone and it'll be delicious by itself, okay? So once again with this, same thing. Get some score marks onto it. Okay, no special way. All right, so now I need to bring my pot 
into the equation. Put the, uh, bring the camera in. Put the ham hock in there. Put your smoked turkey wings on top of that beautiful bed of veggies, okay? And we're gonna use some chicken broth, okay? Chicken broth, and we're gonna boil these down until they get nice and tender. It takes a while for it to get nice and tender, okay? But we got all the time in the world. We ain't got nothing to do. Y'all plan to be here with Gina Young, right? Okay, so let's do it. All right, so we're going in with 32 ounces of chicken broth. If you don't have that much chicken broth, then you just use um, water. Now, uh, will it taste different if you use water? No, guess what? Because I'm going to show you how to season it where it tastes just as beautiful as mine's does, and we're going to use some chicken powder, right? So that chicken powder actually, believe it or not, it makes chicken broth, <laughs> right? You got me? I know you got me. Okay, so see, see, um, see how much that one container of chicken broth covered? It didn't cover much of the meat. So what I want to do is I want to use another container of the chicken broth to kind of bring that level of the liquid up a little bit more so my meat has something to cook in. You know, I want to cover it up a little bit, you know. All right, like I said, if you don't have enough chicken broth, rise that broth up using water, okay? If you're with me, say you're with me, and then we can move on and season this, and then we're gonna turn this up on high, start extracting some beautiful flavor out of these meats and these beautiful veggies. And we're gonna taste this broth. Uh, we're gonna taste this broth when the meat is nice and tender, and so you can see what it tastes like before we put the beans in, okay? So I'm opening up my garlic, my onion powder, Gee, I'm actually watching you from the soccer field. I enjoy watching you cook and converse with us. Okay, great. Thank you for watching on the soccer field. Thank you for coming in and joining us. I hope your team is winning. All right, so I'm bringing all my spices near that we're going to be using, okay? Ty says, I'm with you, Gina. Okay, and Carrie says, I'm with you. Okay, this is great. I learned that from you. When I make greens along with ham hocks, thank you, okay. So Drew Ma says, Gina, do you even like tofu? It's like gross. I'm not a fan of tofu, but, and I don't cook it, you know, I don't make it. But there is a dish um, that I love, it's an Asian dish, it's called pad thai. It has tofu in it, and they kind of fry it up, and it tastes like a fried egg. I like it that way, but honestly, I never cook with it. So I just have to be honest. And I do feel like that it tastes like, just like, like egg, you know? It doesn't have much flavor, you know, I'm not a vegan or anything like that, so. But there are some people that know how to use that flavor. You, they know how to cook with tofu, but I'm not that person. <laughs> All right, let's take some chicken powder. And you see, I have some in my fingertips. You see about how much I'm putting in, okay? I'm gonna do two of those, okay? In between my fingers, you see? You see. Let's do two of those pinches, okay? We're making flavor. We're making flavor on top of flavor. You gotta know how to season in order for it to taste good, okay? You gotta know how to season in order for it to taste good, okay? Chicken powder just went in. Please keep in mind that chicken powder does have salt in it. So I always like to tell people, if you're going to use chicken powder and salt, just be mindful of how much you use, because both of them is salty, okay? Or you can use one or the other, or just kind of watch how much you use. I'm going to put some salt in, and you can see how much I'm using, okay? All right? And then we're going in with onion and garlic powder, and I want you to get nuts with the onion and garlic powder. How about it? Okay? <laughs> get nuts with it. I'm so serious. Okay? All right, so now we're going to put black pepper or white pepper, whichever you love. Perfect. And then we're going to put two pinches of sugar. If you're that person that doesn't want to put it in there, I promise you, you don't have to use it, okay? If you want that mommy flavor, <laughs> put yourself in there. All right, just a little pinch and then another little pinch. Not going to make it sweet, I promise. 
When I promise you, I'm telling you the truth, okay? Trust me. All right, so what do we have here? Take a look down in the pan. We got garlic. We got onion and bell pepper. We got all of our seasonings and our smoked meat, and we covered the meat up half the way in the pan. I want you all to turn this up on high. You can cover it up if you want to make it cook faster. Um, and uh, let's let it start to boil. Let's let that meat start to extract the beautiful smoke flavor. All right, let's let those veggies start to really cook down into this broth. We want this to be flavorful. Before your beans go in, keep in mind this is how I start my greens as well. Always making a flavorful broth before the beans or your greens go in. So I'm just going to put this on the stove behind me, up on high, and I'm going to cover it with foil. I'll be right back. I'm going to put some aluminum foil on top. And you know what? Your house is going to start your house. It's going to start to smell so good. You're going to be like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's smelling good up in here. All right. Just let it go. You don't have to worry about it, you know, burning or anything because, you know, we have a nice amount of water or broth in there, whatever you decided to use. There's a nice amount of liquid in there. And... Um, it's not going to burn, okay? What's going to be happening when you walk away is it's going to come up to a boil, the meat's going to extract flavor into the broth, the veggies, that garlic and those spices is going to form an amazing broth for these beans to go into. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about something really quickly. But before we talk, I do want to ask anybody, is everybody okay? Is everybody doing okay? Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Okay, uh, Z Nisha says that pinch of sugar is everything for recipes. Hey, yes, you bet. Saj says that's a good smell. It is, it's going to smell so good, right? Okay, so Gina, uh, in, uh, I'm in Al Albuquerque waiting on my train to Los Angeles watching you. Okay, the living legend number one. Welcome to Gina Young's Live. Thank you for coming in. Everybody welcome the living legend number one. Thank you for coming in and joining us. I love your holiday. This is Deanna. I love your holidays recipe and I can't wait till Thanksgiving. Can you do a hog mug recipe? I, you know, I feel like I'm gonna do the hog mug recipe this holiday. I feel like I must. And if I don't, I feel like I'm just gonna totally let y'all down. I'm going to, I'm, I, I feel like, the, don't quote me on this, you know, but I, I feel like I'm like 90% that I do want to make it. The only reason why I wouldn't make it is if I couldn't find them. If you, you know, cause I am, I live somewhere else and I gotta like find the, the uh, meat markets that sell it, you know? Oh no, Drew. Okay, Drew says, I like hog mugs, but they smell so bad. The hog mugs don't. It's the, it's the chitlins that smell really bad. The hog mugs don't smell. You might be mixing it up. Gina, I'm watching you now, but I have my grandsons coming over to spend the night, but I'll go back later to watch the live. Okay, no problem, Grace. Hey, listen, thank you for coming in and joining us. Thank you, thank you. I'm so glad to have you. Oh, and Drew says, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I, I've told y'all in the past that I'll make chitlins for people or I'll eat, uh, I'll eat them, but I'm really not a fan of them, of chitlins. But when it comes to hog mugs, <coughs> hold on, guys, I had to sneeze and walk away. All right, now let me wash my hands, and then I'll come back and talk about it. Hold on, I'm washing my hands. Now, what I was going to say is um, when it comes to the hog mugs, I'm just going to repeat myself. They don't have the smell, and they are so delicious. You hear me? Without the smell. I cook them down. Oh, I cook them babies down. 
They are so, so, so flavorful, and I eat them with a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of hot sauce, and me personally, I can eat the whole pan of hog moths. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Drew says, uh oh, is that Drew? Chitlin smell like something brown in the bathroom. You flow, ooh wee, yeah, they smell pretty bad. Gina, do a five flavor cake for the holidays or jelly cake. Okay, that's really interesting. I I've never heard of a jelly cake. Are those pieces of meat? Um, are, you say are you talking about this here? If you're talking about this here, this is a, a ham steak. This is a ham steak that I wanted to use. <clears throat> I'm going to put some ham in mine um, because I, I don't want this to go bad. So I figure sometimes when I make, um, <clears throat> okay, we're going to come down with the camera. Sometimes when I make beans, I like to use this ham steak because there are a lot of people that like to have pieces of ham cubes in their beans. You know, although even though we're using the ham hock, sometimes you get the flavor from the ham hock, but not a lot of ham that comes off of the ham hocks. So I like to use this, and it gives you even more flavor. Gina, is one chicken cube, hold on, Gina, is one cu chicken cube okay? Okay, don't have the powder. My pot is on, I'm on point. Okay, okay, one and a half chicken cube. But if you have one chicken cube, that's fine. Okay, you'll make up for uh, flavor with salt, okay? So one chicken cube is fine. That's, what a great question. Because chicken cubes are the same thing as chicken powder, it's just in a cube form. And there, it's delicious. Um, the only reason why I don't buy the chicken cubes, you may ask, is only because um, they expire quicker than the powder does. You know, but I love chicken cubes and I especially love to use the chicken maggi cubes in Haitian cooking. Oh, you made black eyed peas and rice salad and homemade biscuits. Oh, Sandy, oh my goodness. Woo, that sounds good. Okay, so it looks like you guys are right along with me. Everybody is doing great. I'm so proud of you all. Listen, every single thing, and I'm telling you, everything Gina Young can do, you all can do. And, uh, you know, how you can do it stress-free is just, you, you guys keep seeing me clean up and move this way and move that way. I'm cleaning up as I'm going. When you clean up in the kitchen as you go, you're going to be stress-free. Pr it's a promise. It's a promise. So now, what I want to do, I want for you all to get started on your rice. You might be making regular rice, or if you're making the type of rice that I'm making, I'm making the boil in a bag rice, right? Okay? So, what I do is I take my water, about this much water, in a pan, okay? Bring it up to a boil, salt the water, just a pinch of salt. <clears throat> Once the water comes up to a boil, we then put our bags of rice, and I'm going to use two bags. We put the bags of rice into the water, and we let it boil for 11 minutes. 11 minutes gives you that perfect rice every time. So many people and their mama, they ask me, why you don't make regular rice? Well, because I like this rice. <laughs> like I told them, let me see what's going on in my pocket. I got some type of message happening here. <laughs> I'll wash my hands after I touch my phone. Okay, let me wash my hands. <laughs> I kept feeling vibrating, vibrating, vibrating. I'm getting notifications about the driveway. <laughs> the vehicle in the driveway, but I seen the vehicle. <clears throat> okay. My hands are clean. Yeah, thank you, Sonia. Sonia says, 
11 minutes for the rice, perfect every time. Okay, so if you're making regular rice, you get started on it, okay? If you're making this kind of rice that I'm making, I'm gonna bring the box a little close to you. The boil in a bag rice, you boil some water, salt your water. After the rice comes to a boil, you're gonna put either one or two bags in, and don't open the bag, okay? Let me show you. This bag is perforated. When I say that, it has little tiny holes in it. Because somebody asked me a great question. They said, Gina, why? Okay, so the bags, the rice is in the bag. Why are you salting the water? I said, well, because the flavor can go through these little perforated holes, okay? All right, so I like to take two once it starts to boil. 11 minutes only, okay? Can't stress it enough. It's going to be perfect. And then you drain it from the water, cut it open, and put it into a bowl with a little bit of uh, butter. Done. Let's do it together. My rice is boiling, but if yours isn't and you need me to tell you how to do it again, I'm going to tell you, okay? Oh, you, you're fine. All right. <clears throat> so now I'm going to look down and see how everybody is doing. How you doing? How you doing? Thank you, Sonia. She says clean up as you're going. Okay, that person needs to be blocked. Who is it? Hold on, guys. I'm going to see what's happening here. Okay, Grace. Okay, great. Okay, thank you all. Thank you so much. Please be kind and alive. Absolutely. You know, sometimes we get some cuckoo in here. You just got to get rid of them. Okay? All right. So now, <clears throat> when it comes to the beans, <clears throat> your beans are going to have liquid in them. Okay? And you can use the liquid that's in it. Okay, let's just say you're using two cans. Let's just use this for an example. Say you're using two jars or you're using four cans. You can keep the liquid in two of your cans, drain the liquid in the other two. If you're making two of these, you can drain the liquid out of this one, keep the liquid in this one, okay? You see, what I'm, you see where I'm going at? Because you are already going to have liquid in your pan, okay? And if you're that person, let's just say you might be that person that says, I want to drain the liquid. That's fine, okay? That's absolutely fine because, like I said, uh, then again, you are still going to have liquid that we're going to put our beans into because we're making an amazing broth. So it's really up to you. Gina, well, which one do you want us to do? Drain half and leave half, okay? But I'm just, I just like to throw out options for you all. Okay, so let's just say you're making six cans, three cans you can drain the liquid, three cans you can leave the liquid, or drain them all, <laughs> okay? And really, because I just have to be honest. Like I said, I like to give all kinds of options because either way you do it, it's going to turn out perfect. Okay, like I, I don't know if you all have ever seen me make my red beans and rice. When I make my red beans and rice, I, I like to keep that liquid. It, it makes for a nice thick bean. But like I said, you can rinse it too, okay? Absolutely, says Deanna. Sorry, you are doing a good job. This such. Oh, Sony, you are doing a good job. Okay. I have never seen beans in a jar. Oh, girl, listen. Always look on the bottom shelf of where your beans are located in your local market. They always have them. We keep this in our pantry for a later day. Like I said, inflation is going on. Prices is rising every second as we speak. And you got to have some stuff stocked in your pantry. You hear me? Got to have some rice. Got to have the dried beans. Have some of these, you, you know what I mean? Have some spam. 
have some Vienna sausages, canned fruits and things like that. This right here, we have a ton of them for a late day or a day you just want to make beans and you don't want to wait on those dry beans to cook, you know. Okay, let me get Lala out of here. All right, Lala, let me get you out of here. All right. All right, Lala is gone. I never seen beans in a jar. Okay, Walmart and Kroger have the beans. They are located on the bottom shelf, says Sonia. What is the difference between hog mogs and ham hocks? Oh, okay, great question. Okay, so now, <clears throat> hog mogs and ham hocks are completely different, right? Um, or or, or uh, maybe you're asking the question, What's the difference between hog mogs and chitlins? Let's talk about all three. Hog mogs is the actual stomach of the cow that I love. I love it, right? Chitlins is the intestines of the cow that I don't love. Although I can make some delicious chitlins, you know, for, I can make some delicious chitlins for you and I'll even taste them. So, but chitlins, is the intestines, you know, thing that goes like this. And you know what it holds, <laughs> okay? Hog mugs is the cow stomach. And the uh, ham hock, uh, I, don't quote me, but I feel like the ham hock comes off of the leg cow. I could be wrong about the ham hock. Maybe somebody can chime in if they know. And Moon Chow says, we know what she means. Chitlins are, yes, candy girl, they are. A uh, cow. And Drew says, is it pig or cow? I'm confused. It's cow. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me, hold on. I'm, 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 conf I'm confused. <laughs> hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this wrong. Let me see. Chitlins is from the pig. Hog milk is from the pig's stomach. <laughs> if I'm wrong, somebody said, Gina, you wrong. But I don't think I'm wrong. I think I was just saying it wrong. I was saying cow, but I'm gonna rephrase that. There we go. Thank you, Sonia. Chitlins are pig intestines. <laughs> and they said, it's pig. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. So listen, tell me this right now. Your house should be smelling absolutely amazing right now. That smoked meat, that garlic, the onion and the bell peppers is really starting to cook down. And my house right now smells amazing. I know my neighbors, if they're outside right now, they're totally wondering, what is she cooking? Because it smells so good. Is your house smelling good right now? Sue says, I'm just coming in. She says, it's all pork. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I got a little confused there. But you know what? I just have to be honest. I'm, I'm human. I can make mistakes. That's why I said, come on in. Come on in and tell me if you know. I'm definitely, I felt like I was saying it wrong, you know. <laughs> Thank you all. I'm making greens today, uh, but tomorrow I'll be making some beans with ham shake. Oh, good. Beans smell so good, says Sandy. Okay, this is great. Renee P., how are you? Thank you for coming in and joining us and coming back. Oh, Sonia says yes. My home is smelling good, okay? Oh, yes, absolutely, Eva. There's no shame, absolutely. <laughs> it does come from a pig. Sorry, Diana. I was, um, I, I think my mind was somewhere else, but it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. Slider says, I love your channel. Thank you. 
All right. Tomorrow I'm making beans with smoked turkey leg. Okay, this is great. It is. It's a huge pain to clean them. You're right. Okay, so here's what we can do. We got the rice cooking. You know your rice is going to be done very soon. And we got the broth forming, okay? And when it's time to um, take a look at the, uh, the meats to see if they're nice and tender, we'll do it together. And you guys can tell me if your meat is nice and tender or if it needs to keep cooking, okay? So I'm actually going to come around there. I'm going to sit and chat. We're going to be face to face. We can talk about whatever. Y'all can ask me questions. And then when it's time to take our rice out, we'll do that. And then we'll just let the beautiful broth start to form for our amazing beans. OK, I'm coming around. I'm plugging the computer in <clears throat> because I don't want the computer to die on me. And then I'm going to take the microphone off just for a few minutes to plug up the camera so our camera doesn't you lose charge. Uh, you're going to lose my sound just for one second. But the sound will come right back. OK. Everybody OK? All right, we're looking good. Turn the microphone off. Beautiful. All right, jars of sauerkraut. No, it, it does. It looks like sauerkraut, and that's so funny that you say that. But no, it's jars of beans. Yes, it is. Uh huh. The mic sounds like you're in water. I, I took the mic off, I don't have it on anymore. Oh, okay, Debbie is saying, let's see, Debbie is saying, uh, I made your chicken spaghetti recipe today. It's fantastic. Oh, that's great. And Sauce says, Christopher, right, but it will. Somebody eating them. I I'm not sure what she's saying. Golden Girl says, beans, baby. Yes, that's what we're making here at the Young's House. We're making beans, and they're going to be good. Oh, you love the waterfall. Thank you. Okay, Renee, thank you so much for the super chat. She says, Gina, I am enjoying watching you cook because I had oral surgery and I'm very sore, but I wasn't going to miss your live. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat, Renee P. Thank you for coming back and joining us. We enjoy having you. <clears throat> All right, that's great. Oh, it's smelling so good in here. <laughs> yes. All right, Drew asks, was there cow chit? No, 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 there wasn't. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. <laughs> no, 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 it's pig, it's pig. I made a mistake. Um, I, I forgot to ask my husband exactly where I got the waterfall from, but I will ask him when he comes back. I made your chicken spaghetti today for dinner. Oh, that's great. I can only imagine the smell and it makes me hungry. Yes, Linda, it smells so good right now. So Drew says, I'm gonna go shopping. No, get out of here, Drew. <laughs> you, if you will go shopping for them, you ain't gonna find them. <laughs> Disclaimer, it's pig. <laughs> Sorry about that. It sounds so relaxing, it really does. It really does. Thank you. <clears throat> that chicken spaghetti was the bomb. Okay, great, Heidi. This is awesome. It does. It does. And, you know, in the evenings when you want to relax and you're tired or you're just sick or whatever, um, and you want some relaxation, I just go and hang out over that way, you know, sit over there. And it is so relaxing. It does, Saj. It will have you going straight to sleep. There is, like, in the nighttime, if we have that waterfall on, there's a light and some plants, or not plants, 
it's a light with um, rocks at the bottom and it, it really makes the water look beautiful and kind of shine like shimmer um, so if we just have that light on in here it's really pretty okay April says I love the southern style cooking okay thank you Heather how are you thank you for coming in Oh, he enjoyed it. Oh my goodness, he enjoyed it. Have you used an Instapot? I have used an Instapot before, but mostly it's just for um, like a roast or um, like a shredded pork. You know, when I want to cook like a pork shoulder, a pork butt roast, and I want to shred it up, I put that baby in there and it shreds so good. And I just put some barbecue sauce in it and we make pork sandwiches. Oh, it smells so good in here. Oh, so listen, somebody said, did he enjoy his birthday? Yes, he did. We had the time of our lives, and we was there from Tuesday to Friday. And listen, so let's talk about this. We went to a, uh, what is it called? What is it called? Um, Dakota, I forgot what it's called. Oh, escape room. Uh, never mind. Never mind. So listen, we went to escape room. Here in a second, we got to check our rice, though. Somebody remind me. So I say rice, like, like yell at me, okay? We went to the escape room. And I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect. So when we get in there, they make you sign a disclaimer, you know, because I can see like some people panicking in, in there. And I know that they make you sign a disclaimer because people could get scared. I don't check your rice. <laughs> OK. <laughs> All right, Sonia, let's check the rice and then we'll come back. Now, when we come back, I'm not going to I'm not going to turn the camera that way because you all know what the rice is going to look like when it's done. OK, if your rice is done, you drain it, cut the bag open and then pour it back into your pot or a bowl and just put a little bit of butter on it, okay? And you can put butter on it later. Let's do that right now. And I'll be right back. Remind me that I'm talking about the escape room because I can totally walk away for one second, come back and forget what I was talking about. All right. Look guys, rice perfectly done. That's why that's why I love the rice because it turns out perfect every time. I love this rice. I do. Nicole, come get this off the floor, please. I dropped something. Get this off the floor. I dropped something, please. <laughs> huh, you see it on the floor. Okay. All right. Rice is done. I drained it. Two tablespoons of butter in it, covered up, done. Right? How can you tell if a ghost is lying? I don't know, sweet Liz. Uh, I don't know if that boil in a bag rice comes in jasmine. I did want to come back. I love you guys. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, listen, listen, listen. So, oh, 
You talking about come back home? Okay, 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 okay. I could have stood maybe two more days though. I could, I could, I could, I could have stayed there two more days. We was having so much fun, especially with family. Okay, listen, listen, listen. So back to escape Alcatraz. Okay. So there was different ones that you could choose. You could choose high level escape rooms or like the beginning escape room, like different levels or whatever. I think we did like the middle. Did we do the middle? What did we do? We did the second hardest. We did the second hardest. The hardest was asylum. The hardest was asylum. Okay. So we signed a disclaimer and um, it was me and my husband. It was Dakota. It was uh, my cousin Nikki and her husband okay and when we get in she closed the door behind us <laughs> listen to this she closed the door behind us she tell us she say now you can get clues and um, you know you can ask for a clue I, I think she said if you go over what? Dakota, Dakota's talking to me. If you go over three clues and you can't get no more clues. No, you can't get the record. Oh, you can't hit the record. Because we went past three clues. Okay. Okay. So we didn't hit that part on the record. Because we had to ask for more clues than three. Okay. We go in. Listen. This. Okay. So when we go in. It looks dirty. Like, they made it look dirty. It wasn't like a dirty room. You know, Dakota, would you turn that ice off? But it wasn't just like a dirty room that was really dirty. They purposely made this room look disgusting. It's teeny tiny. And when I say it's teeny tiny, it's teeny tiny. It's all of us in there. And um, they closed the door behind us. But you could see there was a camera up there. So they had to be watching us. And when we asked for a clue, they had to be watching us. Because when you ask for a clue, the clue comes on this little TV that's up there. So I'm going to tell you what it looks like. It looks like dirty walls, right? It looked like there was a bed up against the wall that had chains on it, but the bed wasn't down. It was up against the wall. You could tell it was a bed. And then there was chains on the bed. If you look this way, there was like a sink. There was a soap. There was like this box that had a whole bunch of soaps in it. And then there was like um, a toolbox on the floor that had a combination lock on it, you know, where you need to fix, do the combination. And then there was another something over here that had a lock on it. You needed to figure that combination out. And then there was um, some other stuff, right? And then there was, yeah, there was some other stuff. But there was a toilet. There was this, like, this steel toilet. And, of course, there was no water in it because it wasn't a, a real toilet. You know, it was steel, though. And so once she closed the door, everybody looking around like, what? And then you look at the TV, and you can see your time. You started at fit, uh, an hour. You look at that time, and the time is ticking. You got an hour to get out. All of a sudden, I think it was my husband. I think, I don't know. I think it was my cousin, Nikki, that said, the toilet. <laughs> my husband reached his hand down in that toilet. <laughs> he reached his hand down in that toilet. He said, a key. <laughs> he said, a key, right? And there's all these things with padlocks, combination locks. So one of the things uh, needed a key. So they go into one of the things and they open it. And when they opened it, it was a head like a mannequin head, right? It was a mannequin head. And um, that was wild. Like, and so we're looking at the head like, what do you, okay, what do you do? What do you do with the head? Well, if you looked at the head right here, there was a number five on it. Okay, so you know that number five is gonna mean something. So we just set the head up on the shelf. Heck, we don't know. And then inside of that same box, they had cards. They said all type of stuff. It said um, different things. I don't know if it was dates of when 
the people that escaped Alcatraz. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the dates was, but there was numbers and stuff on the cards. And you, when you first get in there, you don't know what the heck is what. All right, and then there was like, okay, so where the toilet handle is, I turned this thing, this silver thing. Right? It was so deep. So if I turned and it ain't doing nothing. It was just up on the wall where the toilet is. And they also tell you, like, um, they say don't yank or, or pry anything open. It won't come open. Like, don't destroy our building. And we understand that. So when I did like this and nothing happened, I just thought, oh, okay. We don't want to mess with that pipe. We'll mess it up. My cousin Nikki, she turned it and nothing happened. And then all of a sudden, I think, I don't know who started turning it. Somebody started turning that thing again, right? Turning it, turning it, turn. It might have been the color. Turn it, turn it, turn it. And then all of a sudden, this wood came up off the wall, right, where the toilet was, and this door opened. Ha <laughs> ha! This door opened, and it was just big enough where somebody could crawl through. And then, <laughs> listen, it was dark. It was dark, but it was spacious enough where somebody could crawl through. My cousin's husband crawled through, right? He crawled through that little hole and it was dark. I couldn't believe he did it. And when he went through there, he looked to his right and there was a door. He opened the door and the door opened for us. <laughs> he opened the door and the door opened for us, right? So we got out of there, but then there was a, 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 some other stuff. So now we're in this second room and they asked for something else, right? And, they, and, and then we needed a clue. And then we said, we need a clue. And then the clue was something about the head. The head had number five on it. And they said, put the head in the bed. But how do we put the head in the bed if the bed is up on the wall and it won't come down? We figured out how to bring the bed down off the wall. And then they said, make the bed with the head. Put the head, <laughs> this is nuts, right? Put the head on the pillow and then count the numbers. If you counted the numbers, so the number five was on the head. Uh, there was two numbers on this brown blanket that was under the bed, and then there was a number on the bed. So, and so the number might have been five, six, nine, right? And we was like five, six, nine. <laughs> we put we, <laughs> we put that in the combination lock, and it opened something else. Like it might have opened the toolbox, and then there was something else. Then there was something for us to listen to. It's a little tiny recorder. My cousin's husband clicked on it, and we was listening, right? When we was listening. It was like. Do, 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 right? And we're like, what the heck? So we looked behind the door, and behind the door there was like a dot. There would be like a line and dot, dot. So what we had to figure out, this is nuts. What we had to figure out was the numbers for those do, do, do. So it was like one, two, do. So we was like one. Two, three, four. We're like, number four is first, right? We somehow we figured it out. Listen, we got it. This was so much fun. This is something I would like to do again. But we kept saying clue. <laughs> She'd give us clue. And we had to um, like exchange these. They was like, if you hang up these, uh, what was it? Uh, if you hang up these little flags and take the other flags down, the people that's patrolling the, the, uh, the area won't notice you. So we put up new flags and they said, do this and look at the constellation on the ceiling, right? And this was so nuts. They said something will happen. When they said something will happen, after we did that, this window opened like, eeeh. I was like, okay, <laughs> okay. But it was so much fun. So, out of an hour, out of an hour, 0 0.5 seconds left, that's all we had to get out. <laughs> all I knew was I see my cousin Nikki, she was booking down, the, there was two steps. She's like, zoom, she flew out them steps, right? And I was right behind her. We got out on time, and when we got out, um, the lady that was watching us, <laughs> the lady that was watching us, she was right at the door, she said, I... She's, uh, she said, y'all okay? And we all was like, yeah. Um, I said, was you watching? She was like, the whole time. She said, y'all was so funny, right? So she thought we was so funny. Oh, so come to find out, the last thing we needed to do was figure out how to get out into the yard. 
like you know how to get out out of the you know the facility you're in into the yard there was a key hanging on this gate the whole time I was holding the key because the key didn't go in where it needed to go the key was inside of something locked inside of something hanging on a swim a swim jacket or a lifesaver and the last clue, clue she gave us it was like the lady was yelling at us she was like the key to get out is on the lifesaver I was looking at the wrong lifesaver <laughs> they pushed that key in there and we ran out but it was so much fun so if you guys ever want to do something like that I think that's great to do with a group you got to have some people with some brains in there and here's what I told my husband in the car I said if it requires math I'm not gonna be able to get out <laughs> and guess what at some point in time we had to unlock another box and in the box guess what was in it a calculator and I looked at my husband I said it does <laughs> right they had to put together an amazing math question that I would have just sat on the floor and died. <laughs> I would have just sat on the floor and cried because I didn't know how to do it. But they figured it out and we was out of there. 0 0.5 seconds left. <laughs> how many of you would have liked that though? I said, don't cry. <laughs> Is there anybody that's done one of those before? Oh, okay, you said no? Oh my goodness. I, I thought, see, because me, listen guys, I don't know if I've told y'all, I am claustrophobic. Okay, Drew says, I love escape rooms with the right group of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I am claustrophobic. I know I'm claustrophobic. And I know I will totally freak out. But I, I did okay. I did okay. And I was in the cup. She said I would be calling Jesus. <laughs> Woo, you talking about scary though. It was scary. It was scary. This messes with my anxiety. <laughs> it was so much fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you be trapped. <laughs> Uh, Mildred says nope <laughs> but like I said I felt the comfort of my husband it was really just being in there with my whole thing you know with my family I, I was comfortable but I feel like if I was in there by myself oh lord I don't know how I don't know I don't know how I would have did it and then there was this book you had little flat listen when we walked in and lady started explaining stuff to us the uh the light was really dim I already can't see and I'm thinking is this all the light we get right that's what I'm thinking like this all the light we get it was a it was a light that looked like it's getting ready to blow out so it was dark in there and but then we seen some um, uh, little tiny flashlights right about this big and there was three of them and we had to shine the flashlight on one of these books and then it was like uh, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aquarius, all this, right? And it had all these constellation signs on the book, right? But then one of the clues, she says, shine the light on the book, right? And then they said, put the book on top of your head and see what you see or something. We, I know we was looking nuts to this lady. It was, it was so much fun. I'll definitely go back. <laughs> Yolita says, no way, no how, no sir, no ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Carol says, with a group, it would be okay. Yeah, with people you love, you know, uh, you know, you got your husband, your wife there, you know, people you trust, you, you'll be okay. <laughs> and Dakota was working hard, buddy. He was working hard. At one point, I see my husband laying down, and my husband had these really nice jeans on, right? They were light, light blue. And I was just thinking, oh, my husband is all into this. He was on the floor. And I'm thinking, he about to mess his jeans up. That's one thing I was thinking about. He was on the floor. He was doing that combination. I was like, oh, man. And the combination was nuts. Like, you needed a flashlight because you couldn't see. So you needed somebody to fly, shine the flashlight on the combination so you could make sure you got the right numbers. Woo! <laughs> 
Go again, if I'm paying. <laughs> oh, I loved it. I must, I must say I love it. Oh, Ty says it sounds like a video game. It did. It did. I guess, listen, Ty, I think that uh, the panic room started on a videotape. And then they turned it into, like, real life where, where you could do these things. They told us if we did a, a review on how we enjoyed it, um, we would get 20% off next time we went in. So, I don't know, maybe I'll do it. They just sent my husband an email today. It was, and this was all for his birthday. We sat there. The movie was called Panic Room. Oh, I seen the Panic Room movie. No, you couldn't. Could you take your cell phone with you? They tell you no. Was it that? Uh, uh, was it that? Oh, no. Let me tell you what happened. It, it wasn't that. I don't think they said you couldn't take your cell phone. But I think they said don't use it or something. I had, listen, this is so true. I had charge on my cell phone, right? When we got in there, something told me to pick my cell phone up out of my pocket. The charge was gone. My phone was dead, and I thought, what the heck? I just had charge. So I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I lost charge as soon as I went in there. It was like something just drained my battery. <laughs> okay, Golden Girl says, um, they record the whole thing and laugh at you. Yeah, yeah. Um, she said she was laughing at, the, at us the whole time. And I felt like when the lady told us where the key was to get out, I felt like she was screaming at us. You could just see it written on the TV. But I felt like we had, I don't know, it might have been six seconds when she was like, the key is attached to the thing. Oh, man. She was laughing when we ran out that door. <laughs> you said, nope, just along for the ride. <laughs> Here's what I want to do. I want to turn around and look at the, um, I think I want to look at the meat to see how tender the meat is right now. So how about we do this together? Um, I'm going to have my cameraman, Dakota, this live is fun. Thank you, Ty. I'm so grateful. I'm so glad that you're enjoying it. Hey, listen, I am so glad each and every one of you are enjoying it. This is what we do on Saturdays and Thursdays. Okay, can we come over here and look at the meat? I, what I want to do is I want to take like my knife, my fork, and kind of push it into my meat to see what it's looking like. I'm going to have my cameraman not be so close because the steam is going to be like, you know, the steam is going to be yelling at us. So I do want to feel the meat to see how tender. If it's real tender, that baby going to fall off the bone. But if it's not, then we just cover it up and let it continue to cook. But let's check it together, okay? All right, turn it around. I'm going to have Dakota take us over there and we can look at it. All right. Let me get my apron back on. I'm not going to put my uh, microphone on just yet. But once we really get back over there to start cooking, uh, I'll put the microphone on. You know, no worries. Get ready to check the meat. Let's do it together. When I'm telling you, scoot back. You don't want that uh, uh, steam in the camera, okay? What? Ooh, Ooh it's hot, it's hot. Be careful when you open it because you're going to have a lot of steam. Take your time. Uh -uh. Let the steam release. Okay? You eventually get it opened. Okay? If you use a pan lid, you'll be in a better situation than I am. I think I'll have Dakota find my pan. Because this foil right here, ooh, that foil is hot. All right. So now what you're going to notice is you will notice that a lot of our broth has boiled down. And that's okay because when we put more liquid in, you're either going to put more water in or more chicken broth at some point. Okay. I'm going to go in with my knife and check. Let's see, I want to feel, oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see, 
but that ham hock is nice and tender. You hear me? I got some steam happening here, so the visual isn't gonna be the greatest for you. But let's check in on this gorgeous smoked turkey. Ooh, it's looking good, okay? So, what I'd like to say is we are to a point to where the meat is so tender. Oh, yes, look at that. What I want to do is I want to go ahead. I mean, this is tender. Uh-huh. What I want to do is I want to go ahead, take the meat out of the pan. Okay, listen to me. Everybody listen to me. Here, I'm going to put the camera on my face so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So what I want to do, <clears throat> since the meat has begun to get nice and tender, let's go ahead and turn this broth off. Okay. Whatever meat you have in there, we're going to set the meat onto our cutting board. Let it cool down for about five minutes, okay? And you can let yours cool down a little bit more if you need to. We're going to go in with a fork and a knife or two forks, and we're going to just kind of pull the meat off the bone, you know, in such a manner. Chop it up if you need to. And we're going to throw away the uh, skin because we don't want the skin, right? We're gonna throw away the bones, okay? So we can get prepared to do this together, okay? I'll give you guys about three to four minutes to do whatever you need to do, and then we can do this together. So, what are we gonna do? I'm just gonna repeat myself. We're gonna turn the broth off. We're gonna take the meat out of the broth. Don't throw your broth away, okay? Because we're using that beautiful broth to make beans, okay? <clears throat> Let's take all the meat off the bone. Let's take the skin off the bone. And then the meat goes back into the broth. And then we're going to be putting our beans back in. How about it? Okay? My cameraman's going to go back around. I'm going to get my hands nice and washed. And we'll finish our conversation because we got so much to talk about. Okay? All right. I'm going to wash my hands. All right. Give me, give me good so they can see what's happening here. I want nobody left in the dark. And then I need my computer so I can see everybody's comments. So I can make sure everybody is uh, incohesive with what I'm doing. I'm going to put my mic back on. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Let me put the microphone back on. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go, uh, the sound's going to leave us for one second. But then the sound. Okay, can everybody hear me? I see somebody said Gina Young Family Style Edition. You bet. It's always Gina Young Family Style Edition. Absolutely. Okay, if you can hear me, somebody say, we can hear you. If you can hear me loud and clear, say loud and clear. I love good vibes. Okay, Ty, thank you. This is great, okay? All right. We got some meat here. And some of you right now may have the question, you may say, oh, Gina, the meat, the meat is pink. Now, when you have the smoked meats, please keep in mind the smoked meat color is always going to be pink, okay? All right, so now I'm going to wash my hands, and we'll let the meat set here for a few minutes, and then we'll start to cut the meat off the bone. Discard the bones, discard the skin, and we put the meat back into the liquid and then we're going to be bringing our beans into the equation okay we can hear you okay loud and clear okay beautiful kitchen says tammy thank you gina i'm watching <laughs> tropic thunder snacking on some barbecue pork skins oh that sounds good Nadine says, I can't believe I finally caught a live. Hey, Gina and everyone. Everyone welcome Nadine Jones. Thank her for coming in. Thank her for joining us. We definitely appreciate having you here with us. Okay, I'm just going to wash my hands. Okay. 
Get your hands nice and clean. All right. I need another paper towel. Go get another paper towel. Thank you for welcoming Nadine. All right, let's see. Trick or treaters need that survival candy this Halloween. Let's see. My Holy King says that. Clean hands, fans. Okay, so now uh, let me get a fork. Sometimes your meat can be so tender where all you really need is two good forks and you can just shred that meat right off the bone. Okay, I need you to come turn this camera down so they can see what's happening here right about now. Okay. All right, we got some gorgeous turkey wings here. I tell you what, it smells so good. Oh, it's smelling good. They can't see what's happening here. All right, come down so they can see. No, 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 no. Put the, cam put the camera down. Put the camera down and lean the camera. Lean the camera. Thank you. Okay. So now, here's how it goes. Falling off the bone? Yes, it is. And the meat's going to get even ten, even more, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> even more tender as it cooks with our beans, okay? If you see like little tiny bones, then you just discard of it, you know. All right. Some of you may like the skin, and if you're that person, then you leave the skin, okay? I like to discard most of the skin because, just to be honest, some of the skin I do like, okay? And then the bones, you discard of it. How simple. So I'm using, you can see I got a knife here and a fork, and I'm just kind of doing like that, okay? And same thing for your ham hock, all right? If you see any fat, then you don't want to use it. You know what fat looks like, you know. <clears throat> so look at all this gorgeous meat here. I tell you what, that smoked turkey meat is so healthy for you. That's why I said some of the people don't want to use pork, and that's totally fine. Because this smoked turkey meat alone, listen, here. It's going to give you some good flavor. You hear me? All right? So now look what you have. You got a bone that you can discard. I don't ever suggest giving your dogs any bones. Guess why? Because the bones can choke your dog. So I didn't know that in my younger years, you know, but I've learned that as I got older not to give it to them because it's not safe. You know, if it gets stuck in their trachea, that's horrible. You know what I mean? Well, you can just purchase treats for them that's safe for them. You know what I mean? Okay, so look at this. So there we are, two, um, two turkey wings, and we've taken all of the beautiful meat off, discarded the skin, tossed the bones. I got a ham hock in there that I'm going to take some meat off. And then you can go through with a knife. And, just, and, and you see, I really didn't have to handle it. It was hot, but I didn't have to handle it because I have these two utensils here. Okay? So now, chop it down if you want. But guess what you do with it? You put it back into this beautiful broth here. Can you show them the broth? Gorgeous. Yes, you see it. Okay? So now, putting the meat back in there, you can show them as I'm doing it. Come on. Show them what we're doing. Beautiful. That's all the meat that's going to be in your beans. Check me out. <laughs> Woo! Now, if you don't have chicken broth, you're going to use water. But like I said, don't worry about if you're that person that has to use water because we're going to flavor that water. You hear me? Trust me. I do have to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me... <coughs> wash my hands. Always wash your hands, no matter what you're doing. 
you know, you got to cough, you got to scratch your head, whatever. Wash your hands when you're done. Because that's going to be the best way that you can keep you and your family members safe. What do you mean by safe? Well, um, I was taught when I was in culinary art school that if you do something just as simple as even scratching your head, you know what I mean, when you're cooking, you can get somebody sick from bacteria. So if you do anything like that, scratching your head, you know, coughing, sneezing, whatever, just wash your hands and come back like we just did. You know, and it really helps. All right? And it shows that you care about people, you know? So here's my beautiful ham hock here. Mm, mm, mm. Girl, listen here. You ain't, oh my goodness. You don't know what good eating is. Mm. This thing right here look good. Woo, cut that meat off. Uh-huh. Cut that meat off. All right, got some great meat here. Uh, like I was saying earlier, sometimes the ham hock doesn't have a whole lot of meat. But this one here, woo, this baby got a lot of meat. And I am so glad. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. All right. Get as much of the meat off as you can. Now, uh, just to let you know that the bones of your smoked meat, whatever you're using, gives off a flavor, too, believe it or not. The bone gives off amazing flavors. Uh, you know, uh, that's why I like to tell you guys when I'm making pork chops or something, um, I like to say, cook the pork chops that has the bone. It's going to give you the most flavor. Because the boneless ones don't really have a lot of flavor. It's just true. All right, so we're looking good there. I got a little bit of meat here. Oh, how many of you right now are saying, oh, mommy. <laughs> Woo, mommy. Make you some. Is there anybody to say in that right now? Or am I just totally nuts? It's okay if you call me that. Good afternoon, Gina. I'm here. And that's Geneva Smith. <laughs> My holy king. Oh, mommy. All right. So now let's clean up our area because we want to be stress-free. <laughs> that's a beautiful ha-ha. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so now, like I said, clean up as you go just to help yourself not to be stressed out in the kitchen, okay? So now, let's talk about what we got here. She said it's a lot of meat, too. Yes, it is. Okay, so what do you have? Come, come in, come in so we can talk about what we have and what we're getting ready to do. We got broth. We got veggies, we got meat. Um, if you want to, you can taste your broth. I'm going to taste my broth because I need to see what it tastes like and if it's delicious. I'm going in. <laughs> Listen here. Listen here. There's so much flavor all up in there. There's a lot of flavor in there. Okay. Grabs a straw for the broth. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and put our beans in. You can use this liquid if you want. You don't have to. I'm going to drain this one. You can keep the liquid if you want, you know, or drain it. I'm just draining it in the sink as much as I can. There's still going to be a little bit of liquid in there, but, you know, it's going to be okay. Relax. <laughs> All right, look at that, beans going in. Shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it. Uh-huh, get in there on top of that meat and those veggies. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Let's do it again. You know, I opened the can, and the top says, where have you been all my life? <laughs> okay, I, I never knew that the, can, that the can say that. <laughs> I never knew that the can says anything. Where does this one say? Taste the beans, not the can. <laughs> That's what this one says. Okay, I guess. <laughs> so now I know there's a, little, there's a little saying in each can. Okay, what I'm doing right here is I'm just draining it, you know. All right, 
Shake it, shake it. Shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker. All right, come on. All right, we got beans and a nice amount of it. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to gently fold in all, look at that. I'm folding in all of the meat. Oh, yes. I'm folding in the garlic, the bell peppers, and the onions, okay? Fold it all in just like so in this manner. Okay. And now, what we're going to do, that was two cans. Let me see how much I actually have here. Two cans. I feel like... Let me see, I feel like two cans is plenty enough. I'm gonna stop at two cans, okay? Uh, I'm gonna stop at two jars. So, I have some leftover chicken broth. I'm gonna go ahead and add it just like so. And so now what we wanna do is we want to cover this back up. And Dakota, I'm gonna actually have you get the lid instead of the foil, okay? And we're going to let this cook down with the beautiful meat just like so. And um, let's, let's cook it for half an hour. Remember, please keep in mind that um, the, um, what am I trying to say? The beans are already cooked. You really just have to heat them up. But I do want the meat to cook just a little bit lo longer, just to get a little bit softer, okay? So cover it. And now, instead of turning it up on high this time, Let's turn it like on medium, maybe a little bit higher than medium. So now I have a beautiful lid here, if you can show them. I got a lid. <clears throat> and we're going, can they see? And we're going to turn this down on medium and let it go. We got rice done. Okay, now in a half an hour, set your timers. In a half an hour, we are coming back. And when we come back, uh, we're going to be tasting the broth to see what seasonings we need to be using. Because several times when I'm making uh, greens or when I'm making beans, I like to season several times because not only did we add uh, more broth, is when you add more broth or even more water, you need to reseason because it kind of dilutes the flavor. You know what I'm saying? So. We're gonna come back. I like to open up my seasoning so I'm ready to reseason when it's that time. So in a half an hour, gonna come back and season again. I'm opening my spices so I'm all ready. Okay, everything's nice and clean. I am gonna make some hot soapy water for my um, for my dishes here. All right. I'm coming back around. I'm not going too far. Okay, we're adjusting the light. You may see the light doing some tricks right now. Everything's nice and clean. All right, turn that light. Why'd you turn the light off, Dakota? Turn that light back around. Now, what I want to do, for those of you that want to make some cornbread real quick, how about we make some cornbread, okay? So what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use some vegetable oil. I'm gonna use uh, two boxes of Jiffy Mix. I'm gonna use two eggs and I'm gonna use a little bit of milk, okay? And I do put a little bit of sugar in mine, okay? I'm gonna oil my favorite pan that I like to use. I'm throwing this baby in the oven because here at the Young's house, can't have beans without cornbread, okay? And, and, and just please re remember, everything doesn't always have to be homemade. It just doesn't. Yes, we know Gina Young makes amazing cornbread, right? We know that, but what if I don't feel like, <laughs> what if I don't feel like making homemade cornbread? <laughs> so, <laughs> so you make Jiffy. <laughs> all right, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so gather all your stuff together because we're making Jiffy. Now, some of you right now, you're going to say, um, what are you doing with the extra onion and the bell peppers? Well, in that half an hour when we check it, this goes in, okay? This goes in, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to give even more amazing flavor, like I said. 
and it just makes it nice and beautiful, okay? How about it? Get your beans on the stove, cover them, and turn it on medium, maybe a little bit over medium, okay? But don't have it up so high to where the bottom of your pan burns, okay? We don't want that, all right? Everybody's moving in the right direction. I'm proud of you guys. Everything Gina Young can do, you can do as well. You hear me? You bet you can. I, I, I am. I have so much confidence in you guys. I really do. Okay, we're looking good. Let me wipe my stove down a little bit. I hate to have a messy stove. Ooh. Ooh, I don't even like watermarks on my stove. I love this stove back here. Oh, yes, I do. All right, so now let me grab all of my stuff I'm going to need for my cornbread. All right, we're going to use two boxes of Jiffy. How you guys doing? I'm trying to read the comments and see what everybody's talking about. Okay. All right, cornbread. Wham, bam. And this always calls for some milk. It calls for an egg. I just oil my pan and turn it in on, on, on 350. And honestly, I don't measure my milk. But you can read the ingredients right here because it tells you you know, how to make it, okay? There has been times where I'll put some shredded cheese in there, some jalapeno, that sugar. I'm going to grab two eggs, and I'll be right back in my milk. All right, here's my eggs. I hope you all are having... Oh, you used the pet milk. I really like that idea. It probably makes it taste nice and rich. Oh, I know it does. I have some of that, too. Wonder if I should use that. I'll go ahead and use this because otherwise I'd have to go to where my pantry is, you know? Going in with some milk. I don't measure it, like I said, because I know, you know, I know how I want it. Yes, they are, Diana. That's a great point that she makes. She says beans are really good for you. Yes, they are. You know, good for your digestive system. It's good for the little kids, too, you know. And if you make them taste good, even kids will love them, you know. You know right away that Uncle Bobo's going to love your big old pot of beans. <laughs> Oh, you use buttermilk in your cornbread. Okay. So there it is. How simple, right? And then I have like a favorite pan that I'm going to use. I'm throwing a baby in the oven. It's going to get done and we're going to butter it down, right? Oh, I found out something too. I found out something. It's like a I'll tell y'all. I'll tell y'all. It's like a beauty secret. Hold on. Hold on. I got to tell y'all because it's exciting. Somebody says, I'm getting so hungry. <laughs> okay, this is great. Let me show you what we're having for dessert. Let me show you. Guys, listen, I want to step in real quick and tell y'all how much I love y'all. I love you guys so much. I really do. I really do. I love you guys like from the bottom of my heart. I wish I wish I could have y'all here for my Thanksgiving. That would be like totally nuts. I could just see my neighbors. I could just see my neighbors wondering what's going on like, uh, yeah, it's a whole bunch of them out here. <laughs> They're in the house. They're in the backyard. I see people in the driveway in the front yard. What's going on over there? I could just see it. I can just see it. <laughs> and it's nobody but my YouTube family, and we're here having fun. 
<laughs> so listen, uh, we are having a cheesecake tonight. And I just picked up this Edwards signature cheesecake. So that's what's going to be for dessert. And I'm pretty excited because I'm going to have dessert tonight. You know, I'm, I'm just going to, you know, when you have diabetes, you got to weigh out everything. What you going to, what are you going to have? You know what I mean? If you had uh, bread for breakfast, then you can't have dessert. You know, if you had the, you know, you just really got to weigh things out. I'm going to have me some dessert tonight and I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> oh, Mildred says, we love you too, Gina. I love you. Thank you. If you cook in for one person, one can is more than enough. I did three cans. Oh, Sonia, thank you. The cheesecake is so good, OK? I love you back, Gina, says Gwen. I love Oreo cookies and orange dream cheesecake. Oh, man. Junior's cheesecake. I love Edward's key lime. We're all coming. I'm bringing a case of wine, <laughs> says Golden. OK, listen, listen. I'm just going to grab my pan real quick. I'm going to oil that baby up and get this into the oven, OK? All right, that's my refrigerator telling me you left me open. Let me close it. OK, let me see where they put my favorite pan at. I have a favorite pan that I totally love to use for cornbread, but I got to find it. Dakota, I'm struggling. I got it. Y'all, did y'all hear that? I said, Dakota, I'm struggling. And the dogs start barking, see? <laughs> okay, I'm not really struggling, dogs. They smart. I said, I'm struggling, and the dogs start barking. All right, a little bit of oil. Huh? Um, I don't know what I called you for. Oh, I called you because... I couldn't find my pan, and you know you and Daddy be putting my pans all type of places, and I can't find them. <laughs> I don't need you right now. Oh, okay, Valencia says, I did three cans, too. Thank you guys so much. That really helps me because I just have to be honest and tell you guys that I don't know how many people you're cooking for. You know what I mean? And I don't know how much to tell you all to get. You know what I mean? That's why I said in the thing, get six to eight cans, because I don't know how many, you know. But I'm glad you all have common sense enough, and all y'all have common sense, to know how many cans you need, because I don't know how many you're cooking for, you know? And then here at the Young's house, we make a whole bunch, because um, uh, we like to put food into the freezer, eat it the next day, have it for lunch, freeze some. You, you know, and I don't know how much y'all need. So thank y'all so much. Oh, my Holy King's cooking for five people, see? All right, there's my cornbread mix. I'm going to set that in my hot, soapy water. Okay, got my spices opened and ready. Everything's still cooking, and it's smelling and looking good. This is going into the oven. And then I'm going to come back around and we can finish talking about whatever we was talking about. Where did, we, where did we stop with what we were talking about? Somebody, hopefully you can remember. Because I know I ain't going to remember. All right, cornbread is in. I got some paper on the floor I want to pick up. All right. And I'm going to wash my hands again. Nobody freak out. Nobody freak out on me. I'm going to show you guys the dogs because the uh, dogs want to get in the camera. They want to say hello. <clears throat> and they're right behind me. You said, Gina, you invited, you invited us to Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, I didn't invite y'all. <laughs> I hate to say that. Um, I would like to invite y'all. <laughs> Let me wash my hands. I would love to invite y'all. <laughs> I would. I really would. It would just be so much fun. You hear me? You know, listen, guys. I pray in Jesus Christ's name 
that Ron Wilson is doing okay. I pray that he's okay. I pray that his wife is doing well. So everyone, if you think about it, please think about Ron Wilson and pray for him and his wife. I haven't heard from him, although I have not looked in my email to check and see if he emailed me. But I am thinking about him and how him and his wife Kathy is doing today. Okay, so that half an hour, we're going to cook those beans down. Okay, you may have your cornbread in the oven. And if you do, that is totally awesome. Okay, I'm coming around right now. Oh, yeah, because I want to tell you all something really interesting that I found out and that I'm figuring out. I think I, think I figured something very important out, something that's been driving me nuts, and you all know about it. Okay, hold on. Here I am. But let me show you the puppies. Okay, I got a baby right here. There's Polo. Polo, can you say hi? Uh-uh. Stay there so they can see you. Uh-oh. Look, he's coming close to me. Now he can't. He's on my leg. Can you see? God. <laughs> I, hold on. He's all over the place. Well, well, I'll try to catch him. I'll try to catch him. They moved. Ron. Yes, Ron is in our prayers. Oh, what's been driving you nuts? I'm, it's nothing real, real serious, but it, it is something that bothers me. Um, hold on, let me pluck some things in real quick. Hold on. <clears throat> All right, got the computer plugged back up. All right, I'm back here. All right, I'm going to... I think I'll keep the microphone on for now. Because in a half an hour, we got to go back over there. Did anybody put a timer on? But then again, I could totally understand if Ron didn't know that I was going live today. Because, um, you know, when I was on vacation, I, I didn't keep up with you guys like that, you know? So that, that would to that's totally understandable. Okay. Here's what I'm putting on if anybody's wondering. Cucumber melon, it smells so good. Okay, so listen. Do y'all know how um, I have been, like I always tell y'all, I can't, where's the comment? Somebody say hello. I don't see one comment. Okay, okay. Do y'all know how I always say, um, how uh, it drives me nuts about my face being oily. And I always have to use my brush on my face to soak up some of the oil. I may have figured out a solution. I, I may have figured out a solution with God on my side. Because it's like, it's like the worst thing to have an oily face and not know why your face is so oily. Like sometimes I feel like my makeup is slipping off of my face. Uh, not really, but you know what I mean. Y'all you, know what I mean. But anyways, I decided to do some research yesterday. Okay, remember 422 when you put, thank you, Sonia. 422 when you put your cornbread in. Okay. Uh, in six minutes, your time. In six minutes? Are, are, are you saying in six minutes my time for my beans? Okay, listen, so um, yesterday and today, I've been doing some research. I just got, listen, I got on YouTube and I said, solutions for oily face. I did, solutions for oily face because I'm mad, right? As when I was on vacation, my face was just so stinking oily, and I was so mad at my face, like, face, you got to get it together. Okay, so listen, everybody was sitting there saying, they say, what is it, Gina? What? Well, get to it. It's so funny because I'm doing exactly what my husband does that I hate. My husband will carry a story on forever before he gets to the subject, and I'll be over there biting my tongue like, get to it. Tell me. Right? So listen, listen, listen. 
OK, OK, OK. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. They said, everybody, and they're saying, everybody in different videos said, don't sit there and think that because your face is oily, you don't need to moisturize your face. So all this time, I, OK, so I use uh, CeraVe. I use CeraVe for my face. And I love it, right? I mean, I love it to my heart's content. I use one for acne, which I don't have acne, but I use it because I want to dry my skin out. I want to dry it out because my face is so oily. And then I use the regular kind, right? So they said, first of all, you don't need to be using the kind for acne to dry your face out because your face needs moisture, right? And if your face don't have moisture, it's going to produce sebum. It's going to produce moisture. And you're going to have an oily face because you ain't been moisturizing your face. I use all these nice products, beautiful products. I use um, uh, Meaningful Beauty, the one by Cindy Crawford. And I use CeraVe products. Um, and I use something else, right? I'm using all these products, and they work but I'm not moisturizing my face. I wasn't moisturizing my face because my face is so oily. So I was messing myself up. Not one time since we've been on this live have I used my powder thing on my face. Because <laughs> guess what I did? I used CeraVe moisturizer before I put, let's say, Gina, you put the cornbread in at 622, your time. OK, OK, OK. So. I moisturized my face real good with CeraVe moisturizer, put my makeup on, and not one time did I go in with my thing. <laughs> I may have figured out the solution. You got, they said even if you have the oiliest skin in the world, you got to moisturize because if you don't, your face is going to go in panic and it's going to produce oil. And I thought, you have to be kidding me. All this time I was thinking, my face is oily. I'm not moisturizing my face and making it more oily. Well, I used the moisturizer today and look at it. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm so happy. I know I'm nuts. I know I'm nuts right now. But I'm so, <laughs> I'm so stinking happy right now. So listen, if y'all have, Valencia is totally laughing at me. Uh, dry skin is the issue. That was the issue. Yes. So I'm going to moisturize my face at night. I'm going to moisturize my face right before my makeup. And we're going to see where that leads me. How interesting. How interesting. I never knew. I was on the verge of going totally nuts because my face was so oily. And when I would do videos or I would do lives, every five seconds I'm doing my, my little, you know, my brush thing on my face. And I'm like, okay, this is getting, like, obsessive because my face is getting more. It was because I never, ever, I, I don't know when the last time I put uh, lotion or moisturizer on my face. You need to. And I need to. So I better get over myself and start using moisturizer if I want skin, regular skin. <laughs> So that's all. That's what I wanted to talk about. It might not be nothing to y'all, but I, it's kind of exciting to me. <laughs> Mildred says, I'm happy for you, Gina. <laughs> Thank you. I thought, and, and then they start saying, it's so funny because in the videos they would say, and if your face is so oily, you might have an underlying medical condition. I'm like, you have to be kidding me. <laughs> you know, sometimes if you read too much into it, you'll get, you, you know, you'll start hearing all type of stuff. What kind of Sarah V? Uh, Dakota, come here. Here's the thing. I just have to be honest with you. I, I, um, I like wearing makeup, right? So you see makeup. Uh, I do have some marks on my skin, but I don't have like bumps or rashes or anything on my skin. I like to wear, I just like to wear makeup. Right? But the most thing, if I was to say something, is the oil issue. And under my eyes is really dark. But you can't see that without, you know, with makeup on. But under my eyes is really dark. But other than that, I don't have 
skin issues other than the oil, and we're going to fix that right away. Oh, Lord, there they go again. Look like Jill Scott. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you have sensitive skin. Dakota, come here. Go get my, um, go get my, okay, if you go in my bathroom, are you listening? Because you're walking that way. Go in my bathroom, and I have a blue and white, a white and blue bottle of CeraVe, it says moisturizer. Go grab it. In my shower, I have the face cleanser that has green, and then I have another one that says acne. Can you bring them all here? Please, thank you. Ah, there they go again. You look like Jill Scott. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you've been using Noxzema since high school, still using it. Sonia, my husband loves Noxzema. My husband loves to use Noxzema, and his, my husband has really nice skin, smooth face, and he used Noxzema. Oh, but he also uses... Um, uh, uh, Noxema. He also uses, um, there's something else that he uses. Thank you. Yeah, let me see. No, you gave me the wrong stuff. Okay. Facial. Okay. So here's the moisturizer. He gave me the wrong one. I got one for p.m. and one for the a.m. I, I used the one before my makeup today. It was the a.m. kind. Facial moisturizer, CeraVe. Okay, and it is expensive. But now in this one, I've been using this CeraVe acne control cleanser, um, which come to find out I don't need the acne one, right? So I'm going to back off off of using it. You know, if I ain't got acne, why use it, right? So I'm going to show you which one I actually need to be using. So I'm going to switch from this one since I don't have acne, right? Go get the one with the green in my shower. This is not green. This is blue. Cornbread. Okay, somebody said check the beans. Okay, okay, okay. I'm coming right back. Okay, cornbread is not done. I don't know why I'm screaming because I got the microphone on. Oh, these beans, listen here. Okay, here's what I want to happen. I know y'all can hear me even though I'm not in the camera view. I'm stirring my beans and the meat is getting more tender. Okay, you got me in there? Okay, and so now what I'm doing, here, let me just bring my beans over into the equation. Put that camera down, scoot, scoot back. Go back, 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 and come down a little bit so they can see what's happening. Okay, can they see me? Yes? Okay, so now go ahead and take that leftover onions and that bell pepper, put it in there just like so. My cornbread wasn't done. I did check it, okay? And look how beautiful. Can you see in the pan? Look how beautiful, okay? Oh, my goodness, okay? Here's what I want you to do. I want you, 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 and you, you, and you to taste the broth. You taste this broth, and I want for you to decide if you need more seasoning. I just have to be honest with you. I know I'm going to taste it, and I need more seasoning. Why? Well, the reason why is because we added more liquid, okay? So let's taste it together. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's good. You hear me? Mm. I tell you what, I never told you a lie. Mm. That is so delicious. You hear me? Mm. And now, it, it really don't need any more seasoning. I may be a little nuts, but I'm not. I got to put a little bit more seasoning just because I'm Gina Young, okay? Want to have a little tiny bit more sugar. A little bit more. And, and really, when I say it's a little bit more, it is just a little tiny bit more, okay? Garlic and onion powder. Okay, I'm not going to put the salt in because we already used it. And this time I'm going in with one pinch 
of chicken powder. I'm done with seasoning this, this, okay? That was the last time that I'm seasoning any of this. All right, I, I have a different spoon. <laughs> I know some of you are gonna say, ah, ah, I know she didn't. Got a new spoon, okay? And I wanna taste it again. <laughs> I wanna taste it again, cause I can. Mm. Let's do it, come on somebody. I don't have the camera, I don't have the uh, computer with me so I can see your comments, but I wanna hear and see those comments about how your broth tastes right now. Okay, here in just a second. Mm. Mm. Listen, I am one happy person right now. Because this flavor right here, pretty much out of sight. Let's let it cook for a little bit longer. Let those veggies cook and let that meat continue to get nice and tender. We're not going to forget about our cornbread. Pretty soon this is going to be done. We're all going to say a prayer and we're going to eat together. How many of you think this is exciting? Save the messages for, for when I come around so I can read them. And we got rice that's done. I'm turning my beans up a little bit. And I'd like to say I'm turning them up to like a medium. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, a little above medium high. Wait, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase what I just said. Turn the beans up to like medium high. Don't go above it, okay? Now, I did have some extra meat that I wanted to put in. I'm going to do that. And, you know, this ham steak, it's, um, it's fully cooked, okay? So no worries there. I don't want anybody to freak out and say, oh, it's not going to cook long enough. That, that meat, that ham meat that I had, it's a ham steak. It's fully cooked, okay? I'm coming around so we can talk. All right. Mm. How to fix the light. This is the kind... If you have acne, this is the one that I've been using and I shouldn't be using it. Because I don't have acne, I shouldn't be using it. So I'm going to stop using that one. I'm going to use this one. If you see that on there, that's makeup. Okay, so uh, this one is foaming facial cleanser. Okay, and it has all the good stuff that they tell you you should be putting in your, you know, your stuff that you're using for your face. Which is the three essential ceramides, night, uh, I don't know, niacinamides, I don't, I could totally be saying it wrong, but if I am, just laugh with me, you know, and hydro, hydrolonic acid, um, so it has a foaming action, gently refreshes and cleanses, niacinamide helps calm the skin, fragrance free, okay, non-comedogenic, I don't know what that means, where it won't clog your pores, but this right here, and moisture in my face is going to help me. With, so we'll, we'll just actually see. If at any time I feel like I need to use my thing, my pal, my um, thing for my face, we'll, we'll see. Because so far I've been doing okay without it. It's, it said nothing wrong with turning up, Ty. Is Ty turning up? <laughs> Ty, are you turning up right now over these beans? <laughs> Please tell me where you got that pot from. I love it. I got the pot from, as a gift from my husband. I mean, from my dad. My dad brought me the gift over 13 years ago. I didn't know where he purchased it but it came from the Wolfgang Puck collection. But if you want a pot like that, you're just gonna ask for, or you know, if you go on Amazon or something, you're just gonna say that you want a stainless steel flat bottom wok. Uh, 
you said, Gina, we're turning up on the live. Okay, hey, listen, have fun. I'm glad, listen, I'm, I'm glad y'all having a, okay, Sonia. Yes, that's what I want to hear. That's what I want, Sonia. Honey, I'm here for you. And any of you guys that cooked with me or anybody that's watching, I am here for you. I'm commenting on uh, Sonia's comment. She says, Gina, my bra is bussing. <laughs> that means it's totally delicious, okay? So, this is great. Hold on. I'm getting, somebody's in my driveway. Let me see. Somebody pulling up in the driveway and the dogs heard it. Hold on. All right, let me go, go to the driveway. I don't want the backyard. Okay, it's my husband. All right. Isn't that funny? Them dogs, they hear it, buddy. And they standing right by the back door or by the door. All right. <laughs> it don't take you long for get buzzed and drunk. What are y'all talking about on here? <laughs> Oh, that's Saj again. <laughs> y'all having a good time, and I'm so glad. <laughs> I am so glad y'all are having the time of your lives. <laughs> what kind of eyeliner do you wear? Uh, I'm going to show you. It's actually CoverGirl. It's the only kind that I'll ever use. It's CoverGirl, and it has the um, eraser on the end. And every time before I use my eyeliner, I sharpen it with a pencil sharpener so I can get a sharp, I can have a pencil sharp, you know, liner. Because I feel like if you use a dull liner, it's not going to turn out good on your skin, especially if you have a darker skin. So I'll show you here in a second. You said jars and cans of beans at Walmart at Kroger, yes. You said just can't eat northern beans, but they look so good. Oh, I bet you you could. You could eat this recipe. Sonia just told you how good the broth is. Oh, oh, thank you. Can anybody tell me where to purchase the chicken powder at Walmart? Okay, okay, what I want to do, I got to check my... Um, cornbread. Um, let me check the cornbread and I'll be right back. Two seconds. <laughs> hey, big. He's big. Okay. So when I check my cornbread, I'm literally going to take my fork inside and if my fork turns out nice and clean, my cornbread is done like it's done now. So we're going to set this cornbread onto a cutting board, and we'll smear it down with some good old butter. How about it? Okay. Hold on, I'm moving a couple of things around. And then you all can actually see me butter up that cornbread that we just made, okay? I seen it, baby. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I got some beautiful fresh butter here. I'm, I'm just going to take the whole stick. Can you turn the camera around? Who's, whose food is this, honey? This is yours? Okay. Can you turn the camera around real quick? Put them down so they can see this. Pretty soon our beans are going to be done. Don't laugh at the holes. We have holes because of the fork. Put your fork in, take it out if it's nice and clean. That means one thing and one thing only. When it comes out clean, your cornbread is done. Look what I like to do. Take the whole butter stick and just smear it on that baby like so. Talk about some good cornbread. But listen, for those of you that want my homemade recipe for how to make, you know, hot water cornbread or just a regular cornbread, go to my channel. Gina Young's going to show you how to make the hot water cornbread, 
how to make regular cornbread. You hear me? And talk about delicious lists in here. But if you don't have time for all that, you know, I know we, sometimes we don't have time for certain things. Then you make some of this and butter it up real good and you're set. Okay, so there's that. Okay, I'm coming back around. My beans are, are kind of boiling very viciously. So I'm gonna turn them down a little bit, okay? And we're all gonna be eating very soon. Very, very soon. I'm coming around. <laughs> all right. Here I am. Can't wait to eat. Okay, this is great. It is melting your mouth cornbread, Raymond. You're right. My cornbread is done. Yes, it is. Somebody says eat and sleep. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us, Elizabeth. Sasha says, yes, pinto beans do be, but yeah, pinto beans are delicious. I feel like everybody grew up on pinto beans, you know. Oh, you're eating barbecue today. Yum. Oh, thank you, Xander D. Thank you once again for coming in. Yes. Alan says, hi, I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you for coming in and joining us. I think we could probably turn the fan off because it's a bit cold in here. Oh, the dogs are eating. Look in the international. Let's see what they're talking about. Look in the international owl for the chicken powder. Absolutely. There's um, an international section where you could find like um, stuff to make. Um, International foods like Mexican foods, Puerto Rican foods, Haitian food, where you might find products like Goya and stuff like that. Um, and you can find uh, mayo, uh, uh, different types of mayonnaise, Goya products, and you're always going to find that chicken powder. You may even find the chicken cubes that someone had asked me about. It comes in a box, and you get these little tiny cubes, right? And then you just, they're soft. You break them up and you just put them into your beans. When you break it up, it turns into a powder. But it's delicious. What it, it oh, let me, let me tell you this. Look, if you, if you don't have an international section, let's just say, you go to Walmart, you know where the soup aisle is, the regular soup aisle where you buy Campbell's noodle soup, right? Chicken noodle soup. You look on the top shelf you're gonna be able to find chicken bouillon cubes. Okay, check me out. Chicken bouillon cubes, where the chicken bouillon cubes is, you'll see it, and then next to it, you'll see chicken bouillon powder or beef bouillon powder, okay? So in your soup section or in the international section, okay? You can find Maggi Pollo, Maggi Pollo, M-A-G-G-I-E, P-O-L-L-O, -L -L -O, or it'll just say chicken powder, or it'll say chicken bouillon. Uh-oh, uh Gina, purchase your turkey now. The price has gone up. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's fine, Lynette. Come back. Hey, we enjoyed having you. Thank you. Kizzy is back. Welcome, Kizzy. Everybody, welcome Kizzy back. Thank you for coming back and joining us. It's so nice to have you. Mmm. Hold on. Ah, Catherine said her go to the Asian store. Thank you all for welcoming Kiz Kizzy back. 
Freedom says they have turkey $65 here in Texas. Oh, my goodness. $65, that's a lot. Elizabeth says $65 for a turkey. She said that's nuts. Okay, Sonia say her cornbread is done. So how about Okay, how, in 15 minutes. Excuse me for sniffing. In 15 minutes. We're all going to check our beans. I want to check the meat and see how tender it is. If that meat is nice and tender in 15 minutes, guess what? We can say a prayer and we can eat. Okay? If that sounds good to you, somebody say, that sounds good. I can't wait because my, my turkey is going to be so delicious. Oh, you're buying your turkey tomorrow. I know that's right. He said that turkey must have a baby turkey in it because it's $65. I ain't never heard of a $65 turkey. Doggone, that's a lot of money. Okay, you said my wife said she would rather starve than pay that much for a bird that can't fly. <laughs> Okay, so Nadine Jones says, I have been watching you since the fried bologna sandwich and have been enjoying your channel ever since. Oh, that's great. Now, Nadine, let me ask you this. Which bologna sandwich? Because <laughs> I think I made a, bolo a fried bologna sandwich back in 2017. Which one? <laughs> Was it one that I made? <laughs> Okay, what are you snacking on, Gina? I'm so hungry. That's Elizabeth. Elizabeth, <laughs> my husband stopped at, um, what is it, baby? Taco Bell. And he got the churros. <laughs> and they are so cinnamony. Cinnamony, I think that's the word I'm trying to use. And um, soft tacos. So I, I love soft tacos. I, I'm going to go ahead and eat a little bit because I'm starving right about now. Mm. Mm. Hi, Derek said, I'm back. I'm feeling a little bit better, but it's too early to buy your turkey. I know, I don't buy my turkey till, I don't buy my turkey until, I guess I can say like a couple days or the week before Thanksgiving, you know. Is what a YouTube channel? What, what do you mean, is that a YouTube channel, Robert? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Bob, you're going to tell me, you sit there telling me about how I left the gymnasts <laughs> The what? The turkey. Oh, that was that was in another lie. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I left the gymnast all in there. Uh huh. I was like, it's a bag. Oh <laughs> uh, no. But I told him it turned out good. I told him we was young too. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. He mentioned that the butterball. Oh, it's funny on, on, on Thanksgiving Eve. Oh, that's exciting. I remember when I was younger, we would watch um, Charlie Brown's Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving Eve. Did you guys do that? Did y'all watch like the pumpkin patch, Charlie Brown's pumpkin patch <laughs> on Thanksgiving Eve? Uh, Susie Hughes says, Mr. Young's birthday was awesome. 
He said, well, thank you. Oh, in 2017, oh my goodness, thank you for being with me that long. I'll tell you what, I just have to say, I love Taco Bell. This Taco Bell tastes like it has cinnamon in the meat. I don't understand what's going on with this with this soft taco right now. I love their soft tacos, but I'm not, ha oh, I know what's happening. The cinnamon from the churros, I can pick out anything. The cinnamon from the churros must be on my taste buds. And when I tasted the taco, I can taste it. Mm. Oh, your granny already got a turkey and a ham in the freezer. Okay. Oh, you love the wax mu The wax museum was so interesting. I've never had Del Tacos. You know. Just to be honest, so if we started cooking at, somebody said that was fast cooking. So here's the thing. Yes, uh, me and my cousin, we got in a jacuzzi and we enjoyed ourselves. So yes, we did. And we got in a pool too. So we had a good time. I, I love the, y'all Y'all know I love the water. He shouldn't have brought me these home because I'm going to eat them all. <laughs> I'm going to eat them all. The pool, the indoor pool. Um, where we went for my husband's birthday. Oh, you made the pound cake. It was so beautiful. Everybody had such a great time. We really did. Mm. I made peanut butter fudge last night. Oh, wow. Christopher says the, pe the pound cake was so good, Gina. Oh, that's great. I, those wax, they did. The wax people look so realistic, and it was so interesting. Because when you looked at them, they totally looked like they was getting ready to come alive. They look so interesting. There's so much detail in them. Yeah, I'd like to say there was some that didn't really look, you know, but 95% on them, they look exactly like the person. Very nice. It was. A, I would definitely go back. Have you made peanut butter fudge or chocolate fudge? Not for my channel. I'd like to tell you that I made... Um, I may have made chocolate fudge. I know I made strawberry fudge. And I know I made strawberry and chocolate. I don't
don't know if I made strawberry. I really have to think about it or go back to my channel, you know. Oh, thank you, Carol. I wonder what they feel like if you touch their skin. I don't know. They tell you not to touch it. And I can understand why. Like, you can only imagine how much money they put into those mannequins, you know. But, like I said, some of them look so real, look like they were just staring through your soul. Jack Nicholson would be crazy. Mmm. My husband said, Jack Nicholson, he said he looked like super real. <laughs> Let me know when 15 minutes is up. It's going to be time for us to eat. Hopefully. <laughs> it should be because the meat should be nice and tender. Who works at Taco Bell? Stephanie is saying somebody works at Taco Bell. Oh, who's she saying works at Taco Bell? Don't nobody here work at Taco Bell. She must got somebody else mixed up. Oh, we did. Thank you, Christopher. I'm going to make sweet potato pie. When are you going to make it? When are you going to make it? He, oh, you said, yep, he did look more realistic than the others. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gina, how do you keep the beans from being mushy since they're pre-cooked? You don't cook them too long, right? And so that's why we did all that cooking, you know, for a long time, getting the meat, making a beautiful broth, extracting the flavor from the meats. And then at the last minute, you add the beans. Then they won't become mushy, okay? Because I promise you, each and every person, and you're even going to see with my beans, they're not going to be mushy. Now, and they don't cook those beans. They cook them, right? Yeah, they cook them, and they're fully cooked, but they don't overcook them. It's different if they overcook them, and then you try to cook them, then they would get overcooked. But if you just go nuts and you cook them too long, yeah, they'll be mushy, but we're not going to cook them that long. That's why all the cooking ahead of time was done with just meat and veggies and seasoning. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, Judy. <laughs> Meat, veggies, and seasoning cooked a long time to get that meat tender, extract the beautiful flavor, make a gorgeous broth, put the beans in later. And that's how you do greens, too. I know I mentioned it like three time, other times, but it's important that you know. You make a beautiful broth, extract the, oh, you said Michael Jackson? <laughs> oh, you said the Michael Jackson look better, wax? <laughs> I don't. I don't do the Facebook, the Instagram, Twitter, nothing like that. YouTube is definitely enough. Somewhat kind of cake. What kind of cake did Mr. Young, I think you said what kind of cake did he have? Well, you, he wanted the better than anything cake, and he loved it. Yes, he did. That's his favorite cake. He asked for it. So I was more than glad to make that cake for him, and it, it turned out just... Yeah, yeah. The family really loved it. They loved it, and I was so glad to make it for him and his family. So it looks like I'm going to be making that cake some more. <laughs> and I don't mind because I always, every time I make it, I have fun making it. 
Better than, my holy king says, better than anything. I never heard of it. Well, listen, when we get off of here, you should definitely check out the video for it. I have a video, a couple of videos for different types of better than anything cake, and people go totally nuts over it. Okay, so I say he's probably, what's a J? <laughs> Five more minutes, okay. Did you ever think about a hair tutorial? No, I haven't because I'm not the greatest with doing hair. I'm not, I have my hairstylist style my hair and then I take it over from there. But, um, and on days that I wear my hat, it's because my hair is just doing its own thing. <laughs> but thank you, I'm not, <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a makeup and hair stylist. You know, so I, I, I don't feel like I'd be able to tell y'all how to do hair and makeup. You know, I can just learn from YouTube <laughs> how to do my makeup, and that's what I did. And then as far as my hair, I just kind of wet it, and I put the Design Essentials Leave-In Conditioner, Design Essentials Mousse, and then I use a diffuser to make my hair have curl and definition. Hello, Gina Gibson, how are you? Check the beans. Okay, everybody said check the beans. What's your favorite Halloween movie? Um, I really have to think about that. I don't know. Uh, thank you, Derek. Thank you. My husband loves football, yes. You said, does he love football? He does. My husband loves sports. Oh, you're getting over the flu. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're doing well. Oh, nobody special, Juice Miller. I just kind of click on something, you know, and see, like, who to watch, <laughs> you know, how, how to learn what to do, you know. All right, here's what, here's what we need to do. Let's bring the beans over into the equation. Let's take a look at them. I'm literally going to take, um, I'm going to taste the bean to see if it's nice and soft, okay? I'm also going to taste a piece of meat to see if it's nice and soft. And if that happens, we're going to say a prayer. You all are going to get that first bite, especially if you um, didn't cook today. I'm going to make up a big old pot, I mean a big plate. You guys get to taste it, okay? So let's flip this camera over so you guys can see what's getting ready to happen. Dakota. Dakota. I need this camera in on me. All right. Got the beans. Of course, we got the cornbread that's gorgeous. We'll, we'll cut it later. All right, I want to wash my hands before I get started. What are you doing? All right. Turn that this way so I can read comments while we're doing this. Just kind of push it up this way a little bit and I can see what, what everybody's talking about. Okay, there is a new horror movie coming out, but after Halloween called Megan, about a robot life-size doll. Oh my goodness. Okay. Get ready to check, okay. Okay, Lottie, thank you Lottie for coming in. I definitely enjoyed having you here. If I didn't get to speak to you. I definitely apologize. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a spoon here. Don't bring the camera too close right now. All right, so let's see what we got going on. Okay, look at this. Now, somebody said, how do you prevent the beans from getting soggy? Don't cook them too long. <laughs> and that's it. Don't get nuts with cooking them too long. If you would have put them in 
earlier than what we did, they definitely would have been mushy, okay? But you can see they still have some integrity. All right, look at that. All right, so now, come on beans. Oh, yes. All right, so now I want to taste some meat. I'm going to taste the ham hock meat. All right, I'm going to just set that there. Can you come, come down, please? I'm going to taste that and see if it's nice and tender. All right. Okay. I got to blow it. I got to blow it. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. mm. Fall off the bone tender. You hear me? Mmm. All right. So that was my ham hock meat, okay? So now I want to go in and taste my smoked turkey. Let's see, cause I can see the difference in the two meats, okay? All right, there we go. Smoked turkey meat, okay? So I can see my forehead's getting a little shiny. <laughs> we'll have to fix that. All right, let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Taste all your foods. You have to. Before you feed your family, you got to know what it tastes like. You got to know if it's seasoned. You got to know if it's tender. You got to know everything. Don't be afraid to taste your food, to know what you got going on before you feed it to your loved ones, okay? So now what I'm doing right now is I want to taste my beans to see if it's nice and soft. And I'm pretty sure we're getting ready to start eating. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's eat. <laughs> oh, let's eat. Mm. It's so good. This right here will make you smack somebody. Oh, my goodness. Let's go ahead and say a prayer right now. Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you once again for today. I thank you, Lord, for all my subscribers and viewers. I pray that you bless over their lives and keep them safe. I pray that no weapons formed against them shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from all of us in Jesus Christ's name. Let the devil know he stands no chance. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this fun live. We thank you for today. We thank you for this uh, fellowship. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for a blessed uh, recipe. Lord, we need you in our lives. We can't do anything in life without you. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels to surround us day and night your Holy Spirit, to help us make good decisions. Give us peace of our minds. In the name of Jesus, no weapons formed against us. In Jesus Christ's name, we thank you once again for this beautiful meal. Amen. All right. The food is ready. Get a plate. Get a bowl. Get your rice. Cut the cornbread. <laughs> Say your blessings. Time to eat. We did it. We did it. You did it. You know, and all along, there were so many of you not sure how to make it. But we came in and we made it. And you have to be honest, it was pretty simple, right? Yes, it was simple. So here's how I like to do it. I like to put some rice in the bottom of my bowl. Okay, you see that? Not too much rice, okay? Cover that rice back up. Turn your stove off, turn your oven off. Make some hot soapy water for your dirty dishes, okay? We're gonna cut some cornbread. And we're going to enjoy these beans, Gina Young style. Don't be afraid to make a recipe that you never cooked before, especially when you're cooking with Gina Young. I'm going to give you guys the best details, the best instructions. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step because everything that I do in this kitchen, you can do as well. All right? When you put these beans into your bowl, you make sure to get some of that good broth that flavorful broth, okay? Uh-oh, what's, 
D Dakota, can you see if I lost connection? Dakota? Is it frozen? Is it frozen? It's frozen. OK. All right, I thought everything went, went dim for a second. So now, here is what it's going to look like. Put the broth in there. And I'm going to put a little tiny bit. I, I know my husband, he likes to put um, hot sauce on his, which is such a great idea, right? I'm going to put a tiny bit of salt. And when I say a tiny bit of salt, really, it's just a teeny bit. But that's the fun about, you know, let your family do what they want, you know, after they make their bowl. I'm coming around. We're going to chit chat for a while. Your beans should be done. Turn the stove off. Turn the oven off. Wash your hands and let's get started eating. You are? Look what you got, honey. A bunch of everything. Want me to cut your cornbread for you? Huh? Okay. Cornbread. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm coming around here in just a second. Okay. I'll make my husband a beautiful plate for him. And he said he going to go in. He said he going to go in all up in these beans. Okay, so this is great. You want rice, honey? A little bit? A real, 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 real little bit. Okay. He don't like rice, y'all. He don't like rice. And he said, why am I making him eat it? I'm just giving him, I'm just giving him a little tiny bit. <laughs> he said he got to say just a little tiny bit. He said, why are you making me eat it then if I don't like rice? Okay. I'm going to give him a bunch of ham in here, a bunch of turkey meat. Look at that. Ooh, wait, make you some Jenny Young style. You won't be let down, you hear me? You want the hot sauce, honey? Ooh-wee! All right, here's that. Here's that. All right, and the hot sauce... I don't know where the hot sauce is. Okay, here, baby. Here, sweetie pie. I know you want uh, black pepper. The color you can turn the air off. All right, I'm coming around. I'm coming around. I'm coming, coming, coming. Enjoy, sweetie pie. I didn't give you hot sauce because I couldn't find it. Okay, love you. All right. Who's ready? No hot sauce for me. Hot sauce completes the meal. <laughs> Get, help your dad find the hot sauce. Your father didn't like, he didn't like uh, rice. <coughs> now he likes fried rice. <coughs> Excuse me. I took the uh, microphone off. Excuse me, y'all. <coughs> Still trying to get over that nasty cough. <coughs> okay. Here we go. Go get hot sauce out the pantry, Dakota. Just go, yeah. <coughs> Come on. Look at this. Look at this. I can't bend it but so much because... I don't want my juice to come dripping. But when I put it on, listen, when I put it on my spoon, you're going to see. You're going to see. You're going to see. You're going to see. You're going to go nuts over this. That's a big old pot of beans. Look at that. Mmm. And, and honestly, it's that simple. A little bit of cornbread to go with it. I'm going in. Mmm. Mmm. 
Mm-mm. I'll take some hot sauce. Mmm. Cover my follow me by next year. Yeah, you said there it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, you do it. Ooh. Okay, so I put the hot sauce on. Oh, mm. come on. Mm. Listen, mm. tell them how to make it. Tell them how to make Tell your family how to make it. Tell your family how you made it and who showed you how to make it. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Listen, I'm so happy. What the flavor right now? Where's the dogs? Okay. I said, where's the dogs? They barked at me because they wanted to go downstairs. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 I see you, Sonia. Sonia said, it's so good. <laughs> yes. Once again. Mm. See, I like to soak the bean juice up with, I like to soak the bean juice up with the rice. It's like having red beans and rice, kind of, but not really. Mm. She said, I would have never thought of that, Derek. Wonder what she's talking about. Let's see. cornbread and a glass of milk. Oh, I would have never thought about that either. Okay, so did she say, he said put the cornbread in a glass of milk. Mm. Huh? Let me see your, your rice. That's way too much rice, Dakota. You don't need all that carbs. That's too much rice. So put some of it up. You don't need all that, all that uh, rice. Now, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get the, the milk and I'm gonna try it because this sounds so interesting. Susan Q said her socks is off. All right, I'm gonna try it. Catherine said it's good. Put the cornbread in the milk. Okay, let me get let me get the cup. 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 Okay, so this is exciting. Let me I got some beautiful milk. So what I'm seeing, what I'm noticing is my face is just a little tiny oily here. Just a little bit. And I'm okay with that. Just a little bit. So what do I need to do? I need to keep moisturizing my face. <laughs> but I made it halfway through the live. Y'all got to really give it up for me now. Come on. All right. So, we need to take the cornbread, right? All right. Dipping it into the milk. All right, let me see. Hold on, I got, hold on, I got to think about it. Hold on, I'm going to really dip it. Hold on.
Oh, crumble it into the milk. Okay, this is new for me. So here's the thing. It's not bad. I'm not sure about it. I'm not saying I don't like it. Now dip the cornbread. They said now dip the cornbread in the broth. Okay, hold on. All right, dip the cornbread in the broth. All right. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Guys. Mm. Listen. It's good both ways. I've just never had this one. It's interesting. It's interesting. Look at this. Come on, flavor. Mm. Shine through on the flavor. Now, look at that. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Now, mm. talk about tomorrow. Now, tomorrow, what's going to happen is <clears throat> this is going to have so much flavor. You ever, talk, you ever heard people say, mm, yeah, and that spaghetti is going to taste better the next day, you know? I'm paying attention, Gina. It looks good, and I see the palettes of flavor. <laughs> Let's see. Inattention of temperature in your cooking. I see it. <laughs> okay. That broth that's in the bottom of there, that bean broth. Mm. Mm. Listen. Listen. <clears throat> These beans right here. This recipe can be used for any kind of beans you decide that you want to make. Okay, so that's what's great. Mm. Mm -hmm. I am totally really enjoying this, I'm telling you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Listen. The uh, turkey meat is so succulent and tender. The ham hocks is so succulent and tender as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. You have to have beans in your life sometimes. Mishan, Mishan says, get down to it. Mmm. You can have some of my fried fish. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> you said I need to get a bell. <laughs> mm. It does. It really tastes good, Mason. Hopefully, I'm saying your name right. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh, Mildred says I took my cornbread, crumbled it into my beans and rice with hot sauce. Oh, yes. If you're using chicken, does it have to be pre-cooked? Um, I would start everything off. Well, 
Okay, so if you were using raw chicken, what you would do, excuse me, is cook your chicken. <clears throat> excuse me. Cook your chicken until it's well cooked in the broth with the garlic, the onions, the bell peppers, the seasonings until that chicken is fully cooked after you've extracted the flavor from the chicken, the seasonings, and the vegetables, then you put your beans in, okay? You see what I'm saying? That's how it works. All right, I'm taking some more cornbread. I'm kind of squeezing it between my fingertips and I think I'm gonna try that again. And the thing about my cornbread is it's still warm. You know what? I have to say, I think I like the cornbread and the milk idea. I think I like the cornbread and the milk. Okay. Oh, not dipping the cornbread, pour milk over on the cornbread. Okay. Oh, he said this barbecue got me stuck on the sofa. What, what kind of barbecue did you have? Mm. Okay, Heather says, soak the cornbread. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. Only got a little bit of cornbread left, though. Mm. Ty says, I can't cook, Gina. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Oh, you have ribs and chicken? Mmm. Yeah, you can. Thank you, the Lord, for my parents and Gina helping me cook. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, I gotta unbutton. Yeah, I gotta unbutton my button, Lord. Who I gotta unbutton this button? Oh my goodness, them beans is making my stomach swell. I tell you one thing. This is good. Brandy says this is so good. Oh my goodness. Dog man said he doesn't know. He doesn't like the idea of soggy cornbread. That's what dog man says. But I tell you what, it was not bad. It was something I've never had before. Because I usually just eat it with whatever I'm eating, you know. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. The beans are so flavorful. I feel like beans is like a necessity for, for you know, you need to have beans in your life. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh! I do too, Brandy. I love how the beans taste with rice. So, like, growing up when I was younger, anytime my dad had beans, they are a great source of nutrients. Uh huh. Anytime when my dad would make cabbage, beans, or greens, we would always have rice with it. We would. And I don't know if it was to stretch the meal, but if that's what my dad was doing, stretching the meal so everybody could get full, uh, it just makes me love rice with beans, rice with cabbage, rice with greens, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so good. Ah, Valencia, okay. 
She said, this is so good. My sister, back in the pot. Mmm. I am really enjoying this. You hear me? Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's so much flavor. It's so much flavor that we was able to make with those seasonings that we used. With the meat that we used, you know, the chicken powder, believe it or not. Look at that. There's a lot of meat on this one. Mmm. 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 I know my husband is totally loving this right now. He didn't know what I was going to make. But he just ate a little bit of that um, fast food. And then when he seen what I was making, he was like, oh, yeah, I want some of that. He just took a big old bowl downstairs. Okay, Derek, thank you for coming in. Gina, watching you eat makes the food look even more delicious. Thank you. Oh, she said the beans taste better with um, sweet potatoes and chicken. I think that's what she said. Ooh, Maria. Gina, I made chicken with rice and pigeon peas. You know I love that. You know I love that, Maria. My favorite. Gandules. Ooh, I love them. Love the gandules peas. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. How many of you are totally stuffed right now? One full belly, too, says T. Smith. Yeah, oh, Christopher, says Christopher. Oh, he said, I said, I'll be right back. I'm not leaving. Okay, Christopher. Yes, I'm going to go live on Thursday. Um, I'm going to go live on Thursday, but what I'm going to do, instead of us voting today, I'm going to think of what I'm going to be making and then I'll surprise you guys with what we're going to be making. I promise you it'll totally be something that you guys are wanting to make. Um, it'll be something delicious. I want to make sure that it doesn't cost a lot. And that it's going to be kind of easy to make. That way you guys can cook along with me, okay? So Thursday when I, when I do my live, it will be at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? I'm totally stuffed. So let me show y'all what I've done here. All right, that's my bowl. <laughs> I'm done, and then my cornbread is just crumbles. So thank you, Lord, once again. Thank you, Lord, this was such a great meal, and I'm so thankful to you, Heavenly Father. Thankful that we got to have another meal with God on our side, you know, because, you know, honestly, there's people out there that ain't eating. You know, there's people out there that can't cook a meal. There's people out there that ain't ate in a while. And therefore, I'm just so grateful for so many blessings. You know, because there's some people out there that, like I said, they don't have a meal. You know? Let me see. So, uh... Um, yes, Gina, that's what I said. I learned how to cook my beans from you, except I don't use pork. I'm a Sabbath keeper, um, so I can cook on Thursday. Oh, yes, but not on Saturday. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh, I'm going to be cooking on Thursday, yes. Lord, thank you for Gina Young style. Oh, thank you, my holy king. Thank you so much. Gina, I'm so full, I can take another bite. I know, I know, I'm too. But like my stomach is stuffed right now. Sasha says, Christopher, it's been like that since I was little. I'm good, I just don't drink them. <clears throat> they heavier than a Sprite or 7-Up. I barely drink sodas though. 
Do your, do your dogs eat tab table food? Sometimes they do. Yes, Gina. Amen, says Renee. Bama lost. Okay. All right. Mary Jane, welcome. Uh, we missed you on Thursday. Oh, Mashansa still eating. Yeah, um... I was reading something on my phone. <laughs> oh, that made me sleepy. That made me instantly sleepy, my goodness. But listen here, how I'm so glad to be back with you all in the flesh. Uh, we had a great vacation. That's why I told you all, I wasn't gonna be doing you know, the live. I said, but I got some great content for you. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the content because me and my family had so much fun and I was so grateful to give my husband a uh, amazing 50th birthday. Somebody said, Gina, they said, your husband 50? They said, how old are you? Because you look 22. I said, and I thought, I wanted to comment back, well, I ain't 22. I'm not 22. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, okay, someone says, whenever you need to take a break, just let us know. We'll understand. You're only human. Oh, guess what happened? Oh, my goodness. Let me tell you what happened. Somebody tell me in the comment section. If you remember last year, last year, do you, who, who remembers? Somebody tell me you remember. Gina, you let us know where you got the ham hocks and a smoked turkey wings from Kroger. That's where I got mines from, but you can get them at Walmart. You can get them at Walmart. Um, so, do y'all remember last year what True Green did to my yard? They tore it up. Somebody tell me if you remember, if you were like with me last year, and you remember that True Green tore my yard up when they went to oversee the yard. Does anybody remember that last year? Yes, I remember, that's Heather. Okay, listen, guess what happened? And we said we would use True Green because after we paid the $500 to get it fixed, we showed True Green our receipt where we paid $500 to get it fixed. True Green paid us back, and my husband said, that's okay. He said, that's good. That's good business. I'll use them again, right? So we used them again this year. And then guess what? They came back this year to overseed and do whatever else. They tore the yard up again. And not only did they tear it up, they tore it up even more. You hear me? And then not only did they tear it up, they tore my neighbor's yard up. I said, you have to be kidding me. I can believe it. I run out there in pajamas. I run out there in pajamas. I said, you got to go. I said, you tearing my yard up. I thought he was getting ready to leave. He turned his machine around and he tear my neighbor's yard up. And I thought, this is nuts. I said, baby, he tearing the neighbor's yard up. My husband said, you got to go. I don't know what my husband said because I by, by that time I was in the house. The man leaves. He stops the machine. We had to tell the neighbor, so sorry. They tore your yard up. Oh, my gosh. I called the people. They fixed our yard last year. I said, listen, I said, how soon can y'all get out here? I said, I will pay y'all extra if you can just get out here and get sawed put into my yard. How much is it going to be? Well, we got to come out. And then, you know, we can come out this day. It's going to be three days before we come out. I thought, oh, Lord, because I want them out right now. I want it out right. I want, I want them out here right now. Put new sod in my yard and fix my neighbor's yard. They were so nice and so just they they remembered my whole story last year they got out here like this <sighs> the day that we went on vacation they was out there putting salt in the yard and they said where we're at and the neighbors i said right there she said you got an extra spot over there i said get it just get it right and they charged me 505 dollars it's fixed the neighbor's yard is fixed all we got to do is water it 
And the whole time I was on vacation, True Green kept calling me. And I'm going to call them on Monday, and I'm going to give them the receipt, and I'm going to tell them, don't make me wait on my money. Don't make me wait on my money. So now this time what we're going to do is we're not going to use them again. And then the place that I had put the salt in the yard, they said, honey, we can do your overseeding. Because you do overseeding in the fall. They said, honey, we'll do your overseeding, and we know your whole story. We know not to, where not to touch in your yard. They said, we'll do it, and we'll do it right. They said, you're not going to have that issue with us. And I said, next fall, I will call you to oversee the yard. I said, thank you so much. But True Green, True Green is canceled. True Green is done. True Green is done. They messed my yard. With, yeah, my holy king says wicked. <laughs> um... Yeah, so uh, they're pretty much done. We gave them a second chance because they paid us back, you know, but, but they did make us wait like four months before they paid us back. But this time, uh-uh, uh-uh, nope. So we'll get somebody else to treat the yard and take care of the yard, you know, the whole summer, and then we'll get somebody else to do the overseeding in the fall time. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Oh, and then guess what? So the day that they was coming to do the overseeding, I called that morning. I left a message with the man. I said, listen, they're coming to do overseeding. I said, there's a part in my yard that they messed up last year. I don't want them to touch it when they come. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. As soon as he got on there, I said, Lord, I said, you terrible. I said, they left a message for you. They left a message for you not to come back here. Get the message. I thought, get out of here. I was so mad. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Get out of here. <laughs> Very unprofessional. You're right. Yes, yes, yes. But yeah, uh -uh, we're done with them. So uh, True Green, we can say goodbye to True Green because no thanks. But when I came back on, from vacation, my neighbor's yard is gorgeous. My yard is gorgeous. And you can't tell that nothing was ever done. And uh, all we got to do is just water the sod. I told Dakota, I said, when, you, when we go out there to water it, I said, just water that, that area of the neighbors, too. I don't even want the neighbors to have to water it. You know, we will water it for them. Yeah, so that was nuts. <laughs> that was totally nuts. Okay, so like I said, uh, Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be making something amazing. Listen, let, let me ask you this before. Let me ask you this. Did y'all enjoy the bean recipe? Yeah, bye-bye, True Green. <laughs> Did y'all enjoy the beans? Yes, we enjoyed the beans. How many of you thought it was going to be more difficult than what it was? Even the people that cooked with me, let me know. Let me know what you were thinking. They did mess up twice, girl. Okay, it was out of this world. Okay, Sonia says, yes, I did. Okay, so did you think it was going to be harder than what it was? Okay, yes, those beans was off the chain. Okay, great. I'm so glad that we was able to do this because... I really did. Okay, great. Okay, said I cooked, but I don't know what I made. Oh man. Um. Oh, you missed a cooking session. Okay. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people. I cooked and drank. <laughs> um, I feel like. A lot of people think that something that takes a while like uh, it's hard to make, but it's not. You know, like I said, I'm going to try my best to give you guys easy recipes that's delicious because I want to show you how to make things that's from your childhood. You know, you guys had very similar childhoods like me, and everybody grew up on a big old pot of beans. I want to show you how to make everything and show you that it could be made simple. Even if some recipes like this, you got to wait a little while for the meat to get done. But once that meat is done, everything came so simple, you know? 
And I, 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 like I said, I can't say it enough. I'm so glad y'all made this with me because it's delicious. I thought it was gonna be harder, but thanks to letting us know about the jar pinto beans and great, absolutely. Absolutely. I didn't expect such flavor, okay. I use recipe tomorrow, I'm making fried cabbage, kielbasa, beans, and fried potatoes. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, Nadine says, I remember. Do they sell red beans in those jars? Um, they don't, they don't. Um, I know they sell the pinto, the Great Northern, maybe the Navy beans, but the others come in the can, but I use the cans all the time. Like I said, figure out the amount that you're gonna need for your family and just use the kind in the cans. They're exact, you know, it's the exact same thing. Oh yeah, and it cuts down on the time because I figured, you know, if we were to make the dried beans, the dried beans was gonna take us, we, we would still be cooking them. Right, and when we got off the live, we would still be cooking them. So I would never be able to show y'all how to complete it. You know, you know what I mean? So I love that they have those pre-made beans already done and delicious. Well, my beans came out as good as, <laughs> oh my goodness. Amen, cook and pray. Amen, cook and pray. What, are, what do y'all have going on here? I see some weird stuff going on up in these comments today. I bake me some baked chicken tomorrow. Oh, okay, I'm gonna bake some baked chicken tomorrow. Let's see. And my leftover beans, rice, and cook. Oh, that, I might do that. I might do the same. Yeah, I might do the same. Just make some chicken and then we got a big pot of beans and rice and cornbread. You know, that's all you gotta do. Tomorrow's dinner is set, right? <laughs> Ty, you are nuts tonight. <laughs> what the, what is going on in this comment section? <laughs> so listen everybody thank you all for coming in yeah I think so Raymond I agree <laughs> um, thank you all for coming in and joining me today I'm going to go and I think I'm going to take a nice hot bath I'm going to get some warm PJs on. I'm going to get cuddled up in my bed. And I'm going to watch some of my favorite shows and just kind of relax. And I think I also want to read the Bible and just thank God for all of his many, many blessings. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, Raymond. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, Gina Hugs. We cannot ever get off of here without Gina Hugs. I love you guys so much. I do. Thank you, Kizzy, for coming in. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for my moderator, Sonia. Thank you so much. We'll pray for Ron Wilson. Okay. Um, I will see you all in the community tab. I'll be posting a community tab early this week, letting you all know what I'm gonna be making for Thursday, okay? Um, I would just like to say, I did my best today, and when I say I did my best, I did my best to stay on as long as I could because I'm still pretty stinking tired from my, um, my vacation, okay? So, I'm, I'm pretty sure by Thursday, I'm not gonna still be tired, okay? So we'll have even more fun on Thursday, okay? Whatever I decide to make, it's gonna be delicious. You make sure that your notification bell is on. Make sure you press all, because uh, all is gonna help you to get the notifications, okay? Even when I post a notification, a video, or if I'm going live, you wanna be the first one to know, okay? So press all. 
All right, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'm gonna get off of here and relax. And like I said, Thursday, I have a little bit more energy, okay? I love you guys. Getting off of here. Thank you everyone that's came in, okay? I'll see y'all in the flip-flop. God bless. Good night. Good night, guys. Love you too, Mildred. Love you all. I see Juice Miller gave me the peace sign. <laughs> yes, salute, chat. All right, guys, I love y'all. Good night. Love you too, Catherine. Bye, Sue, my holy king, Alan, Susie, Mayshawn, Tyrese, everybody, Derek, Eads, I love you all. Renee P., Christopher, Amy. Good night, Saj. I love y'all.